Wait, what? Oh, that's working. I can't wait for this. So let's just get to the game immediately. <laughs> There's like There's like 24 stages Prob more, Probably more than this What happened to this? Start with this trail. Five hundred and thirty. Hey, you. Yes, you, my hurry child. You rush through the street like a cyclone. Where are you going? Wait, wait a minute, I'm gonna have... Does this sound okay? Or is it a little quiet? Yes. Great. Oh, I, I need to... Turn off alerts. I can't wait to see the show. A show. A show. So you came to Vienna for the love of stories. That's for sure. Oh wait, my, the chat is not on. Then this is just the right place for you. A place where the floors are decorated with gold, where music sings along with the stories. Even a newcomer could be entranced here. Oh, <laughs> listen to me. You must not be a newcomer, but a true connoisseur. Well, before you leave, may I ask a simple question? Which act in a show do you prefer? Act 1, Act 3, Act 5, or all of it? All of it. <laughs> so greedy. It's a tough choice, isn't it? But you can't escape from making decisions. Do you know which act I love the most? Not act one, nor three, or five. But six. Oh, act six, my dear. That's the best part. It's not in the choices. The part in which the king picks up his fallen head. The knight pulls out the sword in his chest. The bodies stand up, dust their clothes, and come to the front of the stage, bow to the audience, and receive their applause. Mm, this, mm, not, this is not a play? Yes, it is. My child, that is precisely when the real show begins. I have a good script here. Let me put on my glasses. Let's start from... 
from Act Six. The princess, a nightingale decorated with diamonds, an opera singer taking center stage, steps into a building of gray and white diamond patterns. And the curtain falls forever. The smile on her face seems too serene. She is still dreaming. Her madness keeps them on alert, but in the court she seems so meek and mentally steady, like a docked boat on calm waters. Nodding elegantly to every gentleman she meets, she makes the shackle on her neck look like a piece of dazzling jewelry. Next page. Oh. What happened? In a transparent room under an unyielding limelight, her dignity is stomped on, like a silk handkerchief thrown on the ground. They smash her crown, forcing her to pay for her madness. Is she crazy? Or oh, I guess mad. No. Not anymore. Sleep, she said to me. Sleep. If that's what she said, then I don't need to wake up. That's when the star falls into an everlasting dream. The blinding light becoming a spotlight on the stage. The empty room carrying the best reverberations. She has never been so calm. Everything beautiful in her is there forever. Frozen in time. Mm, I guess she's completely crazy. Or found eternal peace. Her world has become the performance. A show that never ends. I'd say she's a great actress. Isn't she? But it's not a good story. I don't understand it. <laughs> My dear. You are indeed a great connoisseur. Only one act of a play can't tell a good story by itself. Oh, forgive my ramblings. The golden curtain has risen. Fix your collar, darling, and keep moving forward. Razor in green. Meine Damen und Herren, willkommen! On behalf of the General Medical Association of Vienna, I would like to thank you all for attending this demonstration conference. It is a great honor. As we can see, dear friends, the era of science has arrived. The era of man has arrived. Today, we will share the honor of witnessing the advancement of technology its contributions to medical science, and even the world. Now, please allow me to introduce the patient again, Miss Isolde von Dietersdorf. This lady has selflessly volunteered for the experiment, and in return, will receive a healthy mind in no time. She's been living a miserable life due to hysteria. How terrible it is for a young woman like her. As we all know, 
Mental illness is taking an increasing toll on our country. Even suicide has become more rampant. The tragedies are piling up, and our dear lady is in excruciating pain as we speak. Thanks to the development of medical science, we can again be rescued from the abyss of pain. As I said before, the electroshock therapy uses the most advanced technology available. The medical use of electricity dates back to the 18th century. Isolde? The youngest daughter of the Dietersdorfs? Oh, no wonder she volunteered. The treatment should do wonders for her. You know there's something wrong with that family? I heard her mother stabbed old Dietersdorf in the temple with a brass needle and killed every maid in the room. That things even made it into the Curio Market? I heard not even the Lord's water could clean the blood off it. The family seems to be cursed. So far, no one's ever lived past the age of 40. In fact, the girl had a sister who died very young, and now her brother. I read in the papers that... He killed himself, right? Well, the artist did what an artist would do. He wrote a sad poem, and then set fire to his paintings, together with himself. You know what? My uncle works for the police. He showed me the autopsy report. The truth is, Theophil shot himself. He was killed by a bullet. Gosh! Good thing he didn't have to suffer all that pain before he died. Poor boy, he was so talented and handsome. Oh, but the girl, oh, she's less fortunate fainted at her only brother's funeral, didn't even get to see him one last time. I hope the latest treatment will alleviate her suffering. Lunatics. The whole family is a bunch of lunatics. Mana, sir. This is Vienna where we call these poor people Arcanists. I sincerely hope that Isolde can put an end to her miserable nightmare. After all, she is one of the most talented opera singers in Vienna. Just like her mother. You know what they say? Talent and hysteria go hand in hand. Think about it. They both come from the mind. <laughs> <laughs> All right, please. The treatment for now begin. Are you ready, Miss Dietersdorf? Y yes <sighs> I'm ready. Please. Three, two, one. Okay. Calm down, my lady. Just hang even there, okay? The treatment will work. Perseverance is a virtue. I don't think the electroshock is causing the pain you seem to be experiencing. Don't let the imaginary fear get the better of you. Yes, so Good. Now we'll begin stage two. The voltage will be slightly increased. Please get ready, Miss Dietersdorf. Uh, uh, I, I, uh, no, no! Stage three, an even higher voltage. Forgive the interruption, Dr. Schwartz, but I need you to stop the treatment immediately. I 
can't help but to question your methods, as well as the methods of the General Medical Association. <sighs> your electroshock therapy is a gross violation of humanitarian principles. Judging from what I just saw, it only brought the patient meaningless pain and didn't help her condition one bit. Yes, of course. You intend to use physical pain to distract the patient from her mental pain. Even though this is a conference meant for conversation, you're being a little rude. The new electroshock therapy is not what you know from the last century. Now that man has tamed electricity, there's no doubt that the EST is the best choice for treatment. You shouldn't take it at face value, because it's not like the underlying principles are the same as that frog experiment, huh? My treatment is supported by systemic theories and reliable references, and it is approved and sponsored by the General Medical Association which means it's reasonable and legitimate. Well, you are, correct me if I'm wrong, a social activist known for her little arcane tricks, Miss Kakanya, or should I say, Miss Clara? As far as I know, you don't even have a medical degree. Besides your so-called art movement, this secession, is it? It confuses me, really. Anyway... In order to have a more professional conversation, I suggest we talk later. You know, after you get a medical license. No, Dr. Schwartz. This conversation has nothing to do with my personal identity or experience. I'm only asking you as a citizen of Vienna and as a human being with empathy. How can you not see that she's suffering? Have you been... Thoroughly brainwashed by the supposed authority of medical science? Or have you two been blinded and deafened by hysteria? Oh! You rude little... Please allow me to reiterate, the EST is an advanced and reliable treatment. Besides, Miss Dietersdorf has signed an agreement before we start it. The experiment is conducted under mutual consent. Your objection is of no use, and it is even harmful to the patient's interests. But we always welcome debate. Since you question my methods, please be my guest and indulge us with your thoughts on her condition. As I understand it, Mr. Sigmund Freud published his studies on hysteria in 1895. He believes that hysteria was a psychological disorder caused by problems in the nervous system. It was not a simple organ disease. His trauma theory explains that the patient's personal life experiences were the real cause of the disorder, affecting the patient in subtle ways. It makes much more sense to analyze the patient's traumas than to harm their body. As to whether his theory is advanced enough, you can read the totem and taboo which he published last year what? Freud. Freud! The man who told people to marry their mothers and kill their fathers. The one who couldn't get a word in when his patients spewed insanity. It took him 17 years to become a professor, for God's sake! Miss Clara, I've tolerated your immature antics and... I always welcome advice and opinion, as long as are rational and reasonable. It's just, how could you challenge me with such an amateur theory? You insult me as a gentleman, and you insult my reputation. What? Dr. Schwartz, I did not mean to insult you. <gasps> Miss Dittersdorf, she's unconscious. How? Get her off the chair now! Work. Oh. 
Oh. Oh, you're here? Not a good time. As you can see, my eyes are barely open. Ah. <sighs> In the blink of an eye, my dream slips away like a deer into the deep of the forest. So, dream? <laughs> what kind of a question is that? You make it sound like me dreaming is the most ridiculous thing in the world. I have to remind you, except for some outdated wisdom, there is nothing different between your head and mine, dearie. What did you dream about? I'm as curious about that as you are. You could always allow me to return to my soft bed to try to summon that dream again. Oh, but even then, it likely won't be the same dream. See, we seldom remember our dreams, and even what we don't forget can be hard to understand. And that's why we need a dream interpreter. A doctor that values Shakespeare above his patients, and cigars above his own career. A doctor like Sigmund Freud. He lures out forgotten memories from your past through a technique called free association. Through this, he can reveal what makes you who you are. All you need to do is to lie on the sofa and spill out your thoughts like old milk. Once you do that, your mental health will surely improve. The sleepwalkers stop falling out of their beds, the hysterical go back to their sewing, with enough time, maybe Nietzsche could write a comedy. But what about the medical journals, you may ask? He must have released them. Otherwise, how could we prove the effectiveness of his treatments? And he has. You can read them in journals, in the textbooks, and hear them in the chattering of medical students. I think so. Your name will be blacked out on the pages by then, but your dreams will become the latest gossip on everyone's lips. Publication main... Mm -hmm. Publication may not be a good thing for the patients. Oh, my dear, all medicine has side effects. The best medicine is bitter to the taste. It must be tolerated for the sake of the treatment. How else will these patients free themselves from their mental cages of unconscious desire and delusion? It really is the smallest of prices. A mere coffee stain on your shirt just telling a few people about an unlucky moment or two. Besides, the patient is not given a name. The true protagonist remains a secret between you and the doctor. Hmm, but perhaps you're right. It's not the only way. Another way? Come, listen. Do you hear that? That shrill, piercing sound of metal on the skull? The blood-curdling screams? Even the strongest soul would quake in fear. But this is the other way. However, funny enough, some people prefer the pain. It ends faster than a hard talk with the doctor. <laughs> Drums of March. The plus. Move. Oh, move. Shoot, are you blind or did you hit me on purpose? Hey, 
Hey, hello. Do you know how to control this thing? It always drifts on my bed at night. I just sit back for a week. Just remove your brain. Problem solved. Going safe. Oh, go on, I didn't think of that. Thank you for your advice. You are so great. Oh, you're so welcome, pal. I'd wipe my eyes more often if I were you. Just do something to get that black snot off those lashes. The good news is, the persons in charge of this place are all dead. The bad news, the one in charge right now is not a person. Hello, Researcher Medicine Pocket. Your meal allowance is being deducted to pay for oh. door repair. I don't care, Buckethead. Do your worst. A few pennies don't bother me. You could have called me from your lab terminal. The technology department has equipped every researcher with the latest communication device. And I have the energy to communicate with everyone. Then how am I supposed to know whether my report is lying in your trash or not? Oh, please, you know we gotta talk face to face to solve our issues when things get ugly. Congrats on the one and only achievement you got from the Manus Mask. We're now fully aware of its side effects, and this great achievement is filling the halls with oil and insanity. You should thank the hatted cuckoo for her report. No one's turned into a crazy monster yet, or the Manus would be attacking the headquarters from the Plas right now. Damn it! What are you doing? Are you even listening to me? My apologies. You said we needed to talk face to face. If I what? understand it correctly, this is your number one request. You always carry a face in your pocket? That's just great. You are welcome. It is our duty to learn and meet the needs of every researcher. This will help them reach their full potential while respecting the nature of their being. I received some letters of complaint. They asked me to develop a better sense of humor. They said it would help me understand the researcher's sarcasm, so I am studying it. 75% of the complaints mentioned they did not want to see a face on my head. Some even used strong words like, never let me see that face of yours again. I am glad that you are one of the other 25% researcher medicine pocket. You know what? I don't mind if you keep that face on, as long as you let me kick it around a bit. Regarding your second request, I have read your report. I fully understand the side effects of the mask as well as the feasibility of the decryption. Then what's the point? It's like trying to get the syrup formula out of a Coke can. Ugh! Again, we are all screwed without the original ritual from the Manus. It is too early to conclude that the mask does not contain important clues. The attempts we are making are very necessary. Besides, the situation in Laplace is not as bad as you say. The side effects are completely under control. The subjects are only suffering from dehydration and mania. Fortunately, the Rehabilitation Center has extensive experience in dealing with manic patients, and some researchers, like yourself, are already manic without putting on the mask, so the side effects will not affect them much. I need to screenshot this.
extensive experience, huh? That is right. I am glad you have noticed our efforts. We have prepared a large amount of polymer materials in case of minor vandalism by the patients. Ha <laughs> ha! Amusing. So this is the logic of a machine, huh? Humans are as expendable in the lab as glass. You should be glad that your head is harder than my teeth, or I'd... Your opinion surprises me, Researcher Medicine Pocket. There is a big difference between the human body and glass. As for the original ritual, you are not the first researcher to make this suggestion. We are fully aware of its importance. We have dispatched investigators and members of the field agent administration to investigate various regions. Here are the images they sent back. Field... what? Field Agent Administration. If you have not heard of the name before, most prefer to call them the History Guards, given their function. Right. That team of cannon fodder. The thought of people being thrown around like garbage makes me feel lucky that I'm just a piece of glass. Looks like face-to-face -face conversation does solve problems. Finally, we're getting somewhere. Aside from the insane colleagues running amok. Let me guess. The blue dots are good news, huh? Correct. They represent the safe areas immune to the storm. Ah, uh, North America. I should have gone there for a walk in the park. I don't deserve to suffer in this storm. Stupid gray prison. I have to say, researcher medicine pocket, even though I approved your request for a sports field, which you claimed was a humanitarian need, I think it is more of a canine need. I suggest you install an indicator on your humor module so we know when to laugh. See? Like this blinking red dot. Hmm. Is that Vienna? Yes. All right, all right! Not privy to the information, huh? I know of your tricks. One day I will find the logical fallacies in your words, I swear! And this here... Yellow. Better than the worst, worse than the best. That's the agency. What's all the fuss about? Don't tell me there's a 500 meter long blue crab. No. No sightings of large marine organisms other than the Gorgon. This is where Timekeeper and her team are right now. By the way, it seems you can distinguish between colors precisely, so the canine elements in you are more of a personal choice than an innate trait. I see your efforts on improving your sense of humor, I do, but that's enough now. Turn off the module, okay? Who the heck put these complaints in the box? I'm gonna kick their teeth out. Back to business. Timekeeper and her team are in a bit of a situation. The details are classified, and I am not privy to them either. Huh. Classified. I know what's going on. In this place, classified means they're in big trouble. Marcus? Marcus? Uh. I'm sorry, Madam Hoffman. I was reading the newspaper. I know I told you to practice your arcane skills more, but you don't have to do it all the time. I just told you the oath to secrecy for this mission. Level 2 Investigator Marcus, repeat it to me. 
Remember the field mission manual? Never disclose any information about the storm or the era to irrelevant people. Never build unnecessary connections with the current era. Never disclose any real information about the headquarters to members of the branch. Never discuss confidential matters in unrelated settings. Never contact or interfere with the insignificant, stay out of their lives, silently observe and respect their lives. And why is the stupid train never on time? Did I really say that? Yes, in a low voice, after the last random stop. You have a talent for multitasking, I'll give you that. But the point is, as a rookie investigator, your focus should really be on the mission. Y yes, Madam Hoffman. I'm so sorry. Laplace has analyzed the information from the field agent squad and suggested several critical points on where the storm may arrive. One of them is Vienna. The history guards have reported sightings of menace leaders there. Considering they will probably do the same thing they did in 1929, you know, Escalate the international conflicts to accelerate the reverse? This mission is probably quite risky. It's okay, Madam Hoffman. I am fully prepared. I've been waiting for my first field mission since I joined the Foundation. Thank you for approving my application, or I'd still be talking to rusty filing cabinets and diamond patterns on a wall. No need to thank me, Investigator Marcus. Your application has been approved by headquarters, as your arcane skills will prove very useful on this mission. This time we will track down Manus Vindicte in Vienna, and gather intelligence on the rituals. The intelligence should help with the storm immunity research, making it the top priority of all other missions. That's why I said your arcane skill reading will be useful on this mission. Y yes understood I know how lucky you must feel for returning to your era, after being isolated from the outside world for so long. I will take you to Romania and visit the orphanage where you used to live, if we still have time for that after the mission. <sighs> I'll do my best, Madam Hoffman, whatever you need, as long as my arcane skill can do it. By the way, how's the timekeeper doing on Agent Island? Marcus, have you already forgotten what I just told you? This is a confidential matter. But... it's in the news. Unknown Island appears on the agency. Forces attacked by arcane creatures. Ownership over Island causing conflicts between Bulgaria, Serbia, and Greece. Austro-Hungarian Empire and Russian Empire to establish a negotiating committee. Madam Hoffman? The increased turmoil could cause the storm to arrive earlier, right? That is not our problem. The headquarters will send someone to intervene since it is caused by the Arcanum. Now, just focus on our destination. Vienna. Time to get out. Grab your luggage. <laughs> Excerpt from a suggestion box. I'm not gonna read all of it, but feedback on the face. Suggestion box on Lapalas. Oh. Pork and tart. What is this? What is this? 
gummy bears. What is this for? It's for an event or something. So this is the event currency. What's the gummy bear? Oh, I don't know. Is that? Oh, that's. The gummy bear is <laughs> just candy. It's literally just scan. Different type of candy. Plus five. treasure of Austria the creamy chocolate cake the buttery ganache and the delicious apricot jam created by the ingenious apprentice Franz Sacker in 1832 renowned throughout the world the dessert of Vienna Sacker taught my first time seeing a real one How should I cut it? If I cut straight, the cake will get mushy. If I cut sideways, I'll miss out on the apricot filling. What if I eat it in one bite? No, no, how unrefined. The director would scold me for that. I have to think carefully. There must be some other way. Remember all your training, Investigator Marcus. This is the most important moment of your life. Don't get too excited, or you'll ruin it. Oh no! But No, nothing. Thank you for deciding for me. What was it here, Marcus? B because the cake is way too sweet. According to the plan, the head of the Vienna branch would pick us up and guide us through the necessary procedures of this era. But our train was two hours late. That being the case, our Mr. Carl should have been waiting for two hours, but so far there is no sign of any gentleman in the Foundation's uniform. So Mr. Carl is also more than two hours late. A clever deduction. Let us hope otherwise. I'll go check if he got here before us. I bet that island is a secret base of the Dual Entente. That's why the Bulgarians are so anxious. They're worried about their exit on the Aegean Sea. A friend of mine is in the Navy. He saw a ship leaving the harbor loaded with gold. War is coming, friend. No, no! How does that explain the arcane creatures over there? I'd say it's never been discovered before. Like the Celtic Otherworld. You know, the heavenly land beyond the sea in Bran's legend. The Arcanum has declined after the Enlightenment. It is an honor for all of us in this era to find such a paradise from the past. You're not fit to be human if you don't understand what that island means to us, my friend. Secret base. Otherworld. Fascinating. I need to write this down. Hmm. Miss, could you show me your papers, please? Ah, right. I'm sorry, my friend has it. Could you hold on a minute? I am an arcanist sent from the headquarters of the St. Pavla Foundation. I have a letter of introduction from the head of the Vienna branch. Arcanist? 
Then you come with us, miss. Hands up and be quiet. Bring over the golems! We have an unregistered arcanist! Huh? Marcus? Sir, please listen to me. <gasps> Don't let her get away! I love him. Seeking my service. That's the look. Oh yeah, the the one on the trailer. the mobile graphics a little sharper <laughs> like it's this is an emulator because cn doesn't have a pc version but so this is a mobile graphics but it looks a little sharper <laughs> Excuse myself. What is happening? At ease, gents. Allow me to explain. This respectable lady is most definitely not a Russian spy. Ah, Miss Hoffman. So. This lady with the big case is your assistant? No spy would be stupid enough to carry an entire case of papers in public. So will we all gentlemen. The gentlemen in Vienna have become exceedingly sensitive after the infamous espionage cases of 1913. And their pride was almost destroyed by the Reddle case. The man was even head of counterintelligence, and had a sexual orientation not tolerated in his time. Well, I'm not sure which of the reasons hurt them more. Sorry, Marcus. 
I should have told you that, as your supervisor. Mm hmm. Hmm. The belief that Arcanus cannot cast arcane skills without the ability to speak. So old and superstitious. Like muzzling a dog when it gets out of control. Can we dispel it now, Mr. Carl? I have to remind you, Miss Hoffman, that theoretically we have to go through an entire approval process before I authorize the dispelling of the mute spell. But whatever, who cares? They shouldn't have treated a young lady like that for whatever reason. Relax. This was just a minor incident. You'll never find another place as tolerant as Vienna. It's the very same principles the Foundation strives for. All registered arcanists can come and go as they please in this beautiful city. We even offer artists and musicians perks that cover every aspect of their lives, because Vienna loves art and music. Oh! Speaking of registered arcanists, could you show me her arcanum license? Arcanum license? Yes, ladies from the headquarters. Even so, I'm more than willing to skip some unnecessary procedures for you. We still have to be careful about security, you know, especially when dealing with arcanists. I don't think the headquarters issues such a license. No one told us to apply for one. Oh, there must be some mistake. All arcanists entering Europe must possess an arcanum license issued by the local government. Austria enacted this policy in 1756. We abolished it in 1868, but we're in the time of great tension, so... You know... Perhaps this lady knows something, Miss Marcus? Yes? You are an arcanist, even though you're sent by the headquarters, correct? Sure to me, then. Your arcanum license. Marcus is my assistant on this mission, Mr. Carl. She is not to answer your questions directly given her rank and status. It is me, the one in charge, that you should turn to, not my assistant. Oh, lady from headquarters, don't get me wrong. I didn't mean to usurp your authority. It's not an issue. You didn't have to. Uh, I have a... Here. Oh. Hmm? Um. Is everything okay, Mr. Cull? Is it not acceptable? Oh, yes. It's a uh, perfectly good license. I can even smell the ink from the government office. <laughs> Welcome to Vienna, Miss Arcanist from Romania. You should have shown it to me sooner. It would have saved us a lot of trouble. Um, I'm so sorry to have wasted your time. Speaking of which, no offense, but you are two hours and fifteen minutes late, Mr. Carl. My apologies. The Minister of Finance and I had a little too much at lunch. Well, your train was late too, wasn't it? You were having lunch when you were supposed to be here. We agreed. Relax, lady from the headquarters. You're just not used to this pace around here. Look at this industrialization and so-called modern designs. 
Folks, they have turned up a lavid city and our carefree life into a cold, impersonal machine. Please forgive the train staff, the sewer workers, and the plumbers. It is their right to be a little unpunctual, and enforcing this right is a symbol of our free will. In the end, you didn't pay too long, and I got to enjoy my lunch. It all worked out, right? So, why was your train late? It crashed into a deer. A deer of his free will. <coughs> Tragic. All right. Forgive this old Carl for his minor mistake, ladies. The rumors about the Golden Isle had kept the branch busy. There was no one else but me to pick you up. It wouldn't have been so embarrassing if Headquarters had sent us manpower instead of taking it from us. I am also on the job, Mr. Carl. Should I include your complaints in the report? No, no, no. That's okay. It's just a group of lunatics banished to an island. They're arcane criminals from a small country, and people will forget about them in less than a month. Only a few would believe that it has any real influence on Vienna. You know, the young artists who think highly of themselves, the schemers with evil plans, and the conspiracy theorists suffering from neurasthenia. The Magars and the Bohemians are already giving us a headache. Arcanists? They are not at all the Empire's top ethnic concern. But aren't you in charge of the registration and management of Arcanists? Well, first of all, isn't my loyalty to His Majesty and the Empire? Before you use the title Head of the Vienna Branch to define me, I am first and foremost an honored citizen of Vienna. And I serve our great Emperor, Lady. And I thought you said this was a tolerant city. Oh yes. We are responsible for dealing with the problems caused by the Arcanists, just as we deal with the Magars and the Bohemians. All right. That's the venerable Vienna branch of the St. Pavlov Foundation. Over there. Let's go. Mr. Call is very different from the staff of the headquarters. In fact, most of the times the branch members aren't comrades who share the same goals with us. They're more like local officials we have to deal with. We need them as a buffer between the Foundation and the local governments. They can help us maintain peace in the human world. But you can't ask too much of them. Not all of them are cosmopolitans. Most of them put their emperor and their country first. That's why we shouldn't disclose classified information to them. Does it still hurt? Huh? Oh, it feels much better now. Good. Marcus, did you already have that license before you joined the Foundation? Yes. Austria abolished that policy in 1868, but Romania did not until 1913. I carried it with me out of habit. Thank goodness I did. This is indeed the era I'm from. That time has returned. Never disclose any information about the storm or the era to irrelevant people. Put away a license. We need to catch up with Carl. Remember my words, Marcus. Never trust anyone, even if they're a branch member of the Foundation.
I read my script and emphasize one. Work notes of Vienna branch employees of St. Pablo Foundation. Let's just see the titles. Initiate an application process for removing. Oh, application process for removing the tankers, which is the spell that was casted on Marcus. And it's just that. Just need the title. Initiate the application. Fill in the form. Start the removal process. Start evaluating. Second approval. Go to tear out cancellation. Someone's really mad that someone skipped a, pro a step. There's no new. There's no new stuff. So far, it's just, just one stage. Okay. shapes and textures this mr albrecht must have put so much effort into the design it must be a very pleasant place to work at mr call oh no this is a succession building another meeting place for the young artists to show off others and the cafes they said they wanted to break away from traditional art well it's more like they're breaking away from human life. There's nothing to like here. Only inexplicable paintings and neurasthenic lunatics. But people keep coming back. There are even secession groups to the secession. Like cells dividing through mitosis. The entrance to our venerable branch is on the left. Please follow me. Notice the guard? It's the most loyal and reliable knight of Vienna. Powered entirely by arcane ritual. The greatest achievement since the revival of Arcanum in Europe. In 1662, a royal magician from London offered it to the Emperor at the time. Since then, it's guarded the Empire for centuries. Ah, sir! Mm -hmm. Greetings, dear Saskapia. How is your son Tamino? I hear he's not getting along well with his fiance. He's a strange one. What's he doing standing in the corner like that? My apologies, Miss Hoffman. Please hold on. Terrific, Heinrich! Just as terrific as your pathetic art career! That's great. Best wishes to you, Saskapia. Oh, my apologies. Greetings to you, Angelotti. And unknown lady. See, he is one of those crazy artists. Everyone knows that I only have this beautiful daughter of mine. 
This moustacheless gentleman went to study in Berlin and has just returned. I guess he didn't learn much in class, and now he's throwing himself into opera. He must have listened to Wagner and Mozart so much it damaged his central nervous system. So that's why he sees everyone as a character in an opera. Operas and music, they do harm to your eyes and fill your ears with... useless sounds. Is every artist like this? Hmm, Scarpia, Angelotti. They are indeed characters from the opera Tosca. Oops! I am getting off topic. Don't worry. We've modified its original ritual to meet the needs here. Lots of people come in and out after all. You just need to knock on the armor three times, touch your mustache, and it will let you in. <laughs> ah, I forgot you have no mustaches, my dear ladies. But you do have arcane skills, right? First of all, I am not an arcanist. Second, I am not as humorous as you think. Fine! But that was no joke, as this thing only accepts mustaches. It's a symbol that every gentleman should have. And not everyone's like Heinrich. Just give me the list of Arcanists we mentioned in the letter, Mr. Karl. We don't need to go into the branch. Oh, no. Do you really want to miss the scenery of the Danau? As a site of the modern transport system, there's no better way to tour the ring roads than by carriage. And we've booked a room for you at the Saka Hotel. By the way, have you tried the treasure of Austria? Thank you. We already had it while you were enjoying your lunch. Now, please, give us the list. And I'm sure you've received a telegram from the headquarters. You are to investigate the people around Theophil von Dittersdorf. Okay, all right. It's a pity, lady from the headquarters. Here you are. And that's all of it. All of it. Oh, and this. Two tickets to the Vienna Royal Orchestra. Please, give them to Mr. Riha, and when you see him, send my sincerest regards. I will. Hmm. Who's Mr. Rickard? The contact between the Foundation and the Vienna branch in 1914. A phantom of history. At that time, people still believed the golden age that had begun with the last generation would continue as it should, and that their positions in government would be as unshakable as the long-standing empire. Hmm. Oh, shoot. It won't let me in. You're not joking, are you, Mr. Karl? I am not. Darn! What is going on? Is this isn't broken. Oh, no, I'm stuck. Oh, my belly. Oh, I had the suit custom made in Paris. Mm. What on earth is going on? Why is the defense system activated? Marcus, can you read its internal rituals? Hmm, considering its sluggishness, yes, I think so. Good. It's a good chance for you to get some experience. Just stay safe.
No worries. Could be Another fun. Another jar? Thank you for your cooperation. Are you a rational member? Let's get it over quick. Represents the spirit of Sophia Branch. You should be so violent. Adapt, improve, and advance. Arcanum should be kept up with the times, not lock itself away in a museum and wallow in the good old days. There was something visibly wrong with this thing, and if we were rightfully doing our job. If you have any concerns about this, I'll include them in the report. And I should remind you that you've spent too much time on your free will. We're running out of time. Nine! Nine! Procedures are not the problem, darn it! You're not German, are you? So, what's wrong with the golem? Hmm. As Mr. Carl said, its structure is simple and yet incredible. The malfunction comes from one of the components. There's an extra stroke on the enchantment. These strokes look new. I guess the staff made a mistake when they did the maintenance or repair. Let's hope so. Now take a look at this before Mr. Carl comes out. Several days ago, a member of the field agent squad found a painting that was reported in this magazine, The Pan. It belonged to Theophil von Dittersdorf, a deceased artist from Vienna who committed suicide. Its name is De Salvation, and it was found along with a poem. The poem mentions the doomsday, the reversal of time, and the rain. Salvation and rain. It sounds so... Yes. And given the sightings of Manus leaders in Vienna, we believe Theophil came into contact with Manus leaders before he died, and probably learned the truth of the storm and the method of salvation. This was how Manus Vindicte recruited Arcanists in 1929. Hmm. If he knew the method of salvation, why did he still kill himself? Auf der Suche nach Silenus im Walde fragte ich ihn, was ist das Beste und Wunderbarste für den Mensch? Die Rede, wo der Mensch nie geboren wurde, sagte er. Ich betrachtete ihn, den Ring des Lebens, den Ring aller Leben. Deine Hände formen den Ring und das Urteil wird ausgesprochen. Am jüngsten Tag, in der Dämmerung, wenn die Geschichte verblasst. The toilet when history oh Welt! Fades. Sein Kopf beißt sich in seine Füße. Seine Knie berühren yep. seine Nase. Oh Mensch! Sie bewohnen die Erde und warten darauf. Dass der Himmel fällt. Let us finish gestern him, wird zum Morgen. It. Morgen verwandelt sich wieder in gestern. Wer wird im Regen verschwinden? Wem wird das ewige Glück gewährt? Die Gnade von oben. Und diese Lehre, 
das Aufhören der Existenz. Oh, for so moving, Miss Sieglind. Yes, see. Um. It, it started here. I will seek in. I will seek it in the woods. I don't know what that other word means. What is the best and wonderful thing for the people? He said it was a blank space that had never been born. I look at it, the great ring of life that matters with everything. Oh, where is it? Where is it? It's here. The last malleable day, the twilight, the twilight when history fades, a world. The head swallows the feet, the feet touches, the tip of the nose. Human living on Earth, waiting for the sky to sink. Yesterday, ter yesterday turns tomorrow, and clear eyesight becomes yesterday. Under the rain curtains, who will be lost? Who else? Hmm? Who else will get that eternal happiness, the supreme gift, the th the nothingness that no longer exists? And. Uh, that's it. Poor Sigmund. My best friend has returned to the void. Thank you all for coming today to shed tears for our departed hero. He was a righteous and noble man who cared for his people. He was still trying to save the Arcanists on the Golden Isle before he died. He left us so many beautiful poems and paintings. Shame that the fire burnt everything to ashes. The only thing that survived was the salvation. We were in a golden age of progressive ideas. We believed the Enlightenment would make ignorance history and lead us to paradise where everyone would be saved. The barrier between Arcanists and humans would be removed. In Vienna, that tolerant city, we would stand together hand in hand, back to back, reliving the intimacy we once shared when we first came into this world. Oh, world. Its head bites its feet, its knees touch its nose. But the reality is the survival space of Arcanists is shrinking. We tried to speak up in our own language, but that only makes us strangers in our own land. That's why we have decided to exhibit Sigmund's last work, not only in memory of the deceased, but in memory of his noble spirit, his sincere concern for his people, and his scrutiny of this tragic world. There is no need to be sad, my friends. He has left us with the Rheingold. We will found a committee with the funds raised by the exhibition to improve the conditions of unregistered Arcanists. The youngest and the most outstanding opera singer in Vienna, Fjordfell's sister, Isolt von Dietersdorf, will present the details. We were ordered to investigate Theophil's connections. There may be spies from Manus Vindicte among them.
I know the Vienna branch has a lot of bureaucratic problems, but if we need the help to carry out the mission in this era. The search warrant, the letter of introduction, the evidence collection permit. They've provided us with all the official documents we need in this era, as well as a list of all the arcanists in Vienna in 1914. But we're not going to cooperate with them any further, because of the requirements to confidentiality. We'll only need manpower from them in the following operations. In case you spend a whole day on the A section, Marcus, we're looking for Teofil. Starts with a T. Ha, uh, ha, uh, how did you know I was starting from line A? It says Teofil belonged to a group of artists called The Circle. They often gathered in the secession building. Madame Hoffman? I think we can make contact with them one by one. What's happening? Uh, I sense strong arcane fluctuations over there. I think it's... it's a... ghost? Result? Result! My god! She passed out again! She must have smelling salts on her. Find them. What is going on? Make way! Make way! Let me see. Kakania! People! Make way for the doctor! Is old? Can you hear me? Oh no, it's a seizure. She's going to bite herself. Get a stick! Heinrich, do you have any props she can bite? Doctor! Help! Please help me! They are here! The paintings! They are here! Oh, damn it! She can't bite! Is old? Open your mouth! <coughs> Doctor, your hand is bleeding from the bite. It's okay. What happened just now? She was fine when I left ten minutes ago. I don't know. We finished reciting Sigmund's poem and... Sigmund? Oh, you mean Teofil? I see what's going on here. You've aroused her trauma. You shouldn't have invited her to her brother's exhibition, Hanyek. And you even read his death notice in public. Ah, oh, you should have known it would upset her. He was the only family she had left. I did not. I thought she had completely recovered. What? She should have recovered from the electroshock therapy. What kind of nonsense is that? Dr. Schwartz is a liar without a conscience. He takes pleasure in the pain of his patients. I know how he managed to fool the medical association. Those rich morons don't care about the patients at all. Soon as you mention fancy words like advanced or science, they'll throw their wallets at you as if they'll be left behind by the times. They're all blinded by the shining glamour of progressivism. And they even scoff at psychoanalysis, the real meaningful discovery of the era.
Schau dir den Ring an, Theophil. Er ist so wunderschön. Nein, das war meine Schuld. Ja, ja, ich werde es besser machen. Ich kann es schaffen. Ich kann immer noch singen. Is that? Ja, ja, ich werde es. Schau dir den Ring an, Theophil. Er ist so wunderschön. Schau mich an, Doktor! Hilf mir! Bitte, hilf mir! Ich will Isolt. Now, let go of me first. Oh no. It's a seance. But Miss Tosk only does it before performance. Of course it turned out this way. She's lost control. She summoned evil spirits this time. Not so good ones. of the paintings. Oh, poor girl. It's her brother's paintings. Miss Kakania, watch out! Heinrich, give me a hand. Draw the ghost away by whatever means. are no longer bound to their bodies. They're a nuisance to deal with. Hey, over there. Leave the doctor alone. I bought this bullet with my savings. Who took it out of my body? It was you. You! Enough of your ugly fuss. What family are you from, miss? How much property do you own? Oh, go away! It's not working! You'll have to try harder, Mr. Heinrich. Leave her be, gentlemen. Yeah. 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 made this year. Thank you for your cooperation. Have you a rational number? Enjoy! It's wrong! This battle can go so hard. A nobody. A quack with the stink of a monkey. Let's get it over quick. How dare you lay those filthy fingers upon me? Newly made this year. Are you 
irrational numbers. Huh. Insect and evolve. You took half my body. Heinrich, I'll take care of his old. Take this. Oh, catching a ghost with my hands. Yeah, it's so soft and sticky. Give it back, you thief! I remember it's called... Lending a hand... Shh. Sie sind jetzt sicher, Isolde. Spüren Sie nun den Druck meiner Hände. Come and feel the pressure of my hands. Der Druck wird Sie an einige Dinge erinnern. Sie werden langsam und stetig in Ihren Kopf gelangen und Ihnen nicht schaden. Pressure of my palm. Think of some things. Slowly enter your mind and in an orderly manner that does not harm to you. Good. Das ist es. Wenn ich den Druck loslasse, öffnen Sie langsam Ihre Augen. Diese Dinge werden sanft zu Boden fallen. Wie Federn. Jetzt fangen sie sie vorsichtig auf. I'm using Mumu Player. Oh, this one is... Relax when... Relax. Open your eyes slowly. And those things will slowly fall. Just like blood feathers, please hold it gently. Jetzt sagen Sie mir, was haben Sie gesehen? Was ist passiert? Oh dear. When the, just like the trailer, what did you see? What happened? <laughs> Schwarz told me that humans are rational and we should be able to control ourselves completely. But I failed. The Ditter's dwarfs can't afford another lunatic like me. I will be abandoned by the audience. By everyone. No, you are not them, Isolt. As long as you receive proper treatment in the hospital. Please don't, please. I'm cured. The shock therapy worked well, very well. His old. No, I mustn't act like Mother or Teofil. The Dittersdorfs can't bear. The opera can't bear. Heinrich, please take Miss Didersdorf to get some rest. I will. What about you, Doctor? Where are you going? <sighs> I'm going to get that damn Schwarz! Kakanya? Huh? You are from the Foundation. And... Angelotti? And... The... Unknown Lady?
Put me some some stuff. Oh, I missed some stuff here. Have I? Oh, it's C. Where is it? Look at this, dearie. This kind of hand mirror has become the latest fashion. Oh, it's a trifling thing. But people like me have to stay in the loop to make a living. Come here, gaze into the mirror and fix your hat. What do you see? Do you like what you see? The whole VN. Nothing, it's broken. The last this one. And I think it's just. How do I say this? <laughs> it's just. I. I. Just speechless. A clever answer. I can tell you will fit right in here. But there is still much left to see beyond the mirror. Ah, oh, the young folks step to an ever-changing waltz. If you want to follow their trends, you'll need perfect timing to join the swirling dance. Some have fallen behind. They lounge by the fountains of the park, bemoaning their lives and the price of rent. Come the next banquet and exhibition, they arrive wearing a new fine coat, but underneath their linens are ragged and old. The mirror's reflection held a silver sheen once. Now it's tarnished at the edges. So? So in the warmth of spring, the ice cracks deeper. One splinters into two, and each begins to splinter again. They set up the mirror and lift the cloth, exposing to light the good, the bad, and what lies beyond them both. Then the factions split and then split again. Secessionists, by their nature, are not in the business of keeping things together. They won't stop the fractures. They can't. In lifting the cloth, in seeing their reflection, they scatter themselves like dandelion seeds in the wind. Were young people gone? Or have the young people gone? Oh, I don't know where, but I do know what they're doing. Some of them still paint with gold leaf. Others believe they must depict what is real. Some depict the ravings of their dreams. Some seek to change the streets into works of art. And others drive out all meaning from their work. The only time they ever reach an agreement is just before they lift the cloth from the mirror. Before the Potemkin village with all its empty facades moves somewhere else, some of them might just achieve their ends. To be like the golden cabbage, sitting atop its dome over the ring road. To be recognized by everyone. Yes, Prime Minister. in for a long haul We're only at stage six remember marcus the working staff of the foundation branch will take care of the dispute in their fashion we just need to follow him in the members of the circle are top priority but before any of them can be convicted as said before all we have to do is silently observe and respect their lives Understood. <gasps> I almost bumped into her. That lady in green seemed to be in a bad mood. Shall I ask the gentleman from the branch who she is? Oh, he seems busy at the moment. But 
That gentleman is a person of this era. If I interrupt him, am I also interrupting his original course of action? My, my, Mr. Rigaletto, your hair has grown so fast. To what do we owe this pleasure? Are you also here for the exquisite art? Can you just be normal for once, Heinrich? And stop calling me by those opera names. Someone reported an arcane disturbance here. I see candles. Are you holding a seance? I must remind you that arcane rituals are not allowed, unless you have a separate permit. Excuse me? That's not fair. The first permit already costed us a... Please calm yourself, sir. Be mindful of what you implied. The Viennese government has ensured you the greatest possible freedom for working with us. Who do you think cleaned up after you people? After those fires, passionate murders, and deadless tempeds? We can't bear the consequences of your moments of epiphany forever. Not to mention the seance is one of the most dangerous acts. We've had two colleagues injured, still being treated for mental illness in the Vienna General Hospital. You will find no other place as tolerant and open-minded as this one. In return, you should do your part and cooperate with the government. Seance? What seance? Uh, nothing of the sort, Mr. Rigoletto. This is just a rehearsal of the play. The candles, the settings, and of course, these paintings once bathed in fire. Yes, this is an art exhibit, a youth rally, or, as we prefer to call it, a visualization of the future. I demand a rational conversation. Now, I must question the sanity of this gathering. Is there no one here who is of sound mind? If not, I'll have to... I'm terribly sorry. Mr. Strauss, sorry to keep you waiting. Miss Betelstroff? Bless you, madam. I did not expect to see you here. Oh, sorry that we troubled you. I'm here for my late brother's exhibition, and for rehearsal for the coming performance. We... we got a little carried away. Made you come all the way here to check on us? Uh, please, madam, as your friend, I do not wish to cause you discomfort. In fact, Mr. Carla and I were talking about you over brunch earlier. He was truly impressed by your talent at the opera. Ah, Mr. Carl is too kind. Since my mother passed away, he has been such a caring friend to the family. Well then, this was all just a misunderstanding. But, madam, please understand that I still have procedures to go through. Um, would you mind if I investigated a little? I investigate, you know, just a quick look around the building. We are grateful to have a responsible employee like you, Mr. Strauss. Please, help yourself. <gasps> wow! The spider tail and the detection spores! <gasps> These are Laplace's auxiliary devices for perceiving arcane power. I've never seen one before. Only investigators of level 4 or higher are allowed to use them.
Marcus, come. Give me a hand. On it. These burnt pictures. They're the work of Theophil von Dittestoff. They're the perfect subjects for reading. Only a third of the picture can be read, but I can see it clearly. Hmm. An ingenious composition that balances the different elements of the picture. Sadly, the creator focused too much on the form and overlooked the content. The frame is made of... Uh, not important. Next page. This one is luckier. Half of it survived the fire, so we can see the lower half of the lady in the picture, but, uh... Theophil certainly had a way with women. She was not his first prey. And this one, only a frame remains. The rest of his works are too damaged, but I do remember an intact one somewhere... <gasps> but aside from this, I don't see anything else. Next page. <gasps> People can be read too. That person, Miss Isolde. Unlike other ladies pursuing the latest fashions in Paris, she still wears the corset, with only some Art Nouveau jewelry by her waist. She's as delicate as a butterfly. She is a renowned medium. The Didestoff family is well known for their mediumship. Nowadays, they use that power mostly for art. That is, they summon a spirit to possess their body, so they can sing, write, and paint like no other. They also suffered for this power. Wracked by neurosis and hysteria, the family has had very few members despite its long history. Wait a minute. The picture behind her is still intact, and it is enormous. Is that... the salvation? Strange. This painting is... You have a keen eye for art, miss. Oh! This painting is the work of my dearest friend, Sigmund. The Salvation. The only piece he left behind that survived the consuming flames. These enchanting... Magical circles, one next to another. Oh, I was only reciting Miss Kakania. We're both passionate about the subject. How regrettable. She would have given you a much better explanation if she were here. Her words can easily stir one's soul. Did you say... Kakania? You have a friend called Kakanya? Oh, yes. Every artist has their own nickname. I also have the honor of knowing uh, the Orange Knight, uh, Victor of the Rhyme, Arthur Strudel. Are you a friend of Kakanya? Too bad she just left. Uh, she should be meeting with Dr. Schwartz by now. No, the name sounded a little strange to me, that's all. But. I appreciate the explanation, sir. <coughs> what happened? Are these ghosts? Didn't you say there wasn't a seance? This is Dieter's thought. I would very much like an explanation. Oh, they're still chasing me! The detection spots have taken effect and enveloped the ghosts. Marcus, can you still read? Hmm, I think so. Good. I'll draw its attention. You take care of the Arcanum part.
cottage. It could be fun. Another jar? Time to check my calculations. Thank you for your cooperation. Let's get it over quick. This year. <sighs> oh, there's a bubble. Got you. I could listen to this for hours. <laughs> I should excuse myself. Miss Dietzersdorf, you told me this was just an opera rehearsal. Now look at this mess. And more importantly, my two assistants are still here. I must ask you for a good reason to report to my superior. Sold, my dear lovely gal. Mr. Carl. Director? Look at you, so pale. The play is sapping your strength. Come, child, come to me. I told Schwartz to take good care of you. Well, I guess he can't be in two places at once. The frequent presentations must have been too much for a doctor such as he. I've learned that you've recovered from hysteria, which is good, but promise me that you'll look after yourself, will you? Your late mother suffered a tragic end, and it would be unbearable for the Empire to lose another star. You flatter me. Joseph? Yes, Director. Don't be so hard on them. Those were wonderful stage effects. Heinrich is an expert at this, yes? What better demonstrates our free wills than respecting the artists and their work? None of us would mind an episode of excitement every once in a while. Even the gentlemen from the headquarters would agree with me. Don't you think? Yes, you're right. We are short on manpower, and the assistants should focus on more important matters. <laughs> we should leave. Start our conversation with a simple exercise. First, please repeat after me. Dittersdorf. After all the days you've spent in Vienna, you should be familiar with the name. Tell me, how do you feel about it? Not worth mentioning? Just 
stressful. <laughs> You're making light of it again. But fair enough. You're new here. Not as familiar with this name as those who live here, murmuring it in their dreams. Most of the time it swirls invisibly through the conversations on the street. Other times, it is tangible in the signatures of the exhibits, seen in the performances and the metal badges clinging to collars, and always in the boys and girls who inherit the Dittersdorf talents. And just like that, they are thrust into the role of the outstanding Dittersdorfs, the Lady Songbird and the Artistic Painter. Let's talk about data serve. Oh, of course. Well, then, high time to tell you about them. Vienna, at present, is a splendid, crumbling house. Whenever the waltz starts playing, the roof trembles along with the music, while the dancing crowd, and funny that it is a crowd, None of them dare look up at it. The people here live in identical pretty little houses. The social classes smoothed out like butter on a cake. Now, works of art become their icons. And in their madness, they scramble to make these beautiful, dazzling things. The Dittersdorfs, nobles who can perform channeling, are made to perform like dancing animals in a circus. Businessmen and nobles clamoring to sponsor their performances in order to glorify themselves. The noble ladies prefer to curate the finest acts, highlighting their good taste and fashionability, while the lordlings seem to prefer new and hidden talents as some example of their virtue. How then could a good singer ever miss a performance? But she must, to take her chance, seizing the lovely bird in her hand. That poor, noble little bird, because people said that she was born with madness. And it is in this act of fighting against her madness that she proves herself proper among the noble ladies. She knows better than anyone why a piece of art is valuable, and how to make it worth even more. Check the date of a novel? Yes, it is Der Mann ohne Eigenschaften by Robert Musel. Mm hmm. Oh, I see, I see. What they say? Just as I remembered it. The novel was completed in 1930. The word Kakania was also created by Robert Musil. Kakania should not be a nickname for anyone in 1914. It doesn't belong to this era. She could be with Manus Vindicte, or at least associated with their people. What's more, when we were at the Secession building, I read that painting, The Salvation. It seemed out of place compared to the other paintings, Teofil may have applied a new technique on the Salvation, a more daring kind, audacious even. But these are only subtleties, I can't be too certain. I was interrupted by that strangely speaking gentleman, so I didn't get everything. Another thing, its content reminds me of the symbol of the circle. This 
interesting circle resembles the circles in the Salvation. Heinrich called them magical circles, one next to another. They must be more than just circles, I think. Was he demonstrating the madness of passion? But the lines are clean. Perhaps the purity of eternity? No, the circles are too twisted for that. Or was he just representing a primitive state of being? I don't understand any of it. So this must be art. <laughs> Ma'am, you're funny sometimes. I wasn't joking. Huh? Based on what we know, we can't be sure if this group of young arcanists and the Manis are connected. But we all know that the latter is eager to win over the cynical revolutionary youth. You did well, Marcus. The important figures of the circle, Isolde Heinrich, and even the late Theophil. We have made contact with them all. Only this Kakanya. What does the intel say about her? Kakanya, also known as Miss Clara, inherited her arcane skills from her family. She's able to reflect people's thoughts in a mirror. She was once a medical student, but dropped out halfway through. These days, she shows up at various social events as a psychiatrist, which the Foundation tries to prohibit because she doesn't have a license. And she is also... an activist. An activist? According to Mr. Heinrich, she is meeting with a doctor named Schwartz today. Schwartz, the family doctor Carl mentioned. Let's try our luck there. Now then, Miss Clara, Mr. Schwartz. Only three weapons are allowed in the duel. The army knife, the sword, and the pistol. I will leave the choice to Dr. Schwartz, for he has more experience in these duels than I do. It's an honor to fight you, and I look forward to ending your winning streak. Not so much an honorable scene for me. Uh, excuse me, please. Pardon me, what is happening? A duel, ma'am. Just as Dr. Schwartz was demonstrating his therapy, Mrs. Clara barged right in. They were arguing, and this is how they decided to end it. To ensure fairness of the duel, the combat must happen within 48 hours of the challenge. But I've never seen one take place on the spot. Well, I hope they know what they're doing. I don't want to get caught as collateral damage. That green dress. So she is Kakanya. What do we do? If she gets injured, our mission will... Don't worry about people in that time. It is their life to live. Never intervene if you don't know the exact consequences of your actions. The course of history is more important than our investigation. This is Investigator Greta Hoffmann. What? Hold on. I'll be right back. Where are you going? The field agent squad needs to speak to me. This won't take long. I will leave this to you. Remember what I said, Marcus. Yes, madam. Leaving this to me. To me. To me. Breathe, Marcus. There's nothing to be nervous about. You can't be an assistant forever. There will come a day when you're all on your own. Just like at the secession building, I only have to watch her. If I end up talking to Miss Kakanya, I'll just pretend to be an ordinary employee of the Foundation. Easy. 
You used to do well on your own when you were reading in the lighthouse and the forest. Hmm. Dr. Shorts. Three times he has been involved in duels and three times he has won. Impressive. This time he's still going for the pistol. But... Miss Kakanya does not have an assistant and she has only one witness in this duel. This is not right. Why did she agree to this? She's being reckless. Even an Arcanist should have at least one assistant in a duel. Dr. Shorts' assistant brought them a pair of pistols. FN Model 1910. Hmm. Is that a right weapon for a duel? It's too crowded here. Uh, I can't see. Hmm? No, the pistol given to Miss Kakanya. Something's wrong with it. The bullets. Her life is in danger if the duel begins. But Madam Hoffman warned me about the consequences of intervention. What if... what if I just go and talk to her as an employee of the Foundation Branch, like I did at the Secession Building? So far, Heinrich has been difficult to communicate with, while Mr. Carl doesn't want us to get in touch with Mrs. Old. Miss Kakanya is the only person who is both a friend of Theophil and associated with the Circle. But I have to be careful with this name. If she is indeed one of the Manas Vindicte, I will be jeopardizing this mission by going near her. But wait! She doesn't know that I'm from the headquarters, so she probably will talk to me. But how do I know she doesn't know my identity? What if Mr. Call is not to be trusted? And what if Mr. Call and she are in this together? Their names both start with a K. <clears throat> what am I thinking? Stop, stop. I'm not on the Flannan Isles anymore. I can't waste my day on endless thoughts. Remember what Madam Hoffman said. Think of the immediate mission. I have to prevent Kakanya from getting killed in the duel. She has the clues about Theophil that I need. Never intervene if you don't know the exact consequences of your actions. <sighs> I have assessed the risks, madam. I will not stand by and watch this happen, even if I don't know the consequences. I need to make this clear to you. Not only have you hindered Miss Dietersdorf from getting the treatment she needs, but you have repeatedly defamed me. <laughs> I can only admit that you're right if you have to call a different academic perspective slander. A different academic perspective? Do you really think Freud and his petty tricks are academic? One could hardly find a vast insult to science than this. Is that so? Do you really mean that? Rumor has it that you taught the military the method of hypnosis for a price. Do you wish to clear things up here? <laughs> <laughs> Your silence is a resounding yes. Tell me, why did you please the ministers with these petty tricks, but not with your most advanced electrotherapy you've been touting? Do you harbor negative feelings towards Mr. Freud because of his open rejection of hypnosis? What does any of this have to do with you? Many things, Mr. Schwartz. Your behavior has greatly undermined the interests of arcanists, who are your own people. Not to mention that hypnosis is a violation of a patient's free will. And I have reason to believe that this duel is entirely personal. I must make it clear that your wife's appointment with me has nothing to do with the rumors of your lackluster performance in the bedroom. I'm not the real enemy, Mr. Schwartz. The gossip mongers and tabloid writers are. You. You. Are both duelists ready? 
perfectly ready. I'm ready to... No! She's not! Huh? Oh? Miss Kakanya needs another minute. Uh, 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 the crowd shoot me. I want to go home. Why, oh, why did you apply for this mission, Marcus? <laughs> to interrupt, miss, but the last time I checked, I couldn't possibly afford a St. Pavlov Foundation member to be my aide. Ah, darn it. I forgot about my badge. So, the Foundation is trying to intervene. Don't worry, Miss Foundation staff. Look around. We're doing it the human way. No arcane skills involved. The head of the Foundation branch should not be your role model. Mind you, you're giving up a part of your integrity for taking his clones. A terrible deal indeed. I... Besides, they're using human guns. We don't need the Foundation's license to use these. I'm not doing anything against the Foundation's rules, am I? If it's urgent, can we wait until after the duel? Please stand back. The bullets can't tell the difference between friend and enemy. I... I... Please don't use that gun! The bullets in it are dangerous! The gun will burst if you pull the trigger. Sir, I demand that the gun be checked. <gasps> the size of these bullets. I need an explanation, Mr. Spots. I thought you had at least the integrity of a gentleman. The bullets in my gun are wrong. If I pull the trigger, as Miss Foundation here said, the barrel will burst! A bursted barrel? I remember now. That Anton boy lost the duel to Schwartz for the same reason. Did Schwartz do something to his gun too? And was the guard in on it too? Huh? <coughs> this is defamation! I have never... Please! Who is dueling here? Ah, the guards are here. Hey, don't step on my dress! Not good! Madame Hoffman has not come back yet! Madame Hoffman! Uh... Hey, miss! The helpful Miss Foundation employee! <gasps> miss Kakanya? We are going to jump, Miss Foundation. Three, two, one, here we go! That exit! Don't let them get away! Got to sneak away. Don't worry, Miss Foundation. I won't leave you behind. I'll help you as you helped me. Huh? That's not... Kakanya! This way! Let's this head. Each? I 
thought you were out selling wares on the street. Is that the magic mustache? You clever boy. Quick, name your price. You sure you can afford that, Kakanya? Stuck it. Triple the price? <laughs> Just about what I can accept. You know my limits, old friend. Put it on this foundation. Don't take it off. You'll be exposed. Why is she... she always hands that? It smells, but bear with it. Now keep quiet and follow me. I'll get you to safety. <sighs> Lead us if you want your pay, Elich. Got it. Follow me. It's newly made this year. Uh huh. Thanks. That was it. Enjoy. It's wrong. There they are. Another jar. It's newly made this year. Got you. I should excuse myself. Notebook. Danger to two. It's good. So many missing texts. It's talking about the duel. Mirror and lantern.
Kakanya, this way, over here. Elite. Thanks a lot. The prop show came in handy. Mm, uh, oh, finally. Why do I keep having things stick to my lips? <laughs> Be careful with that. It is no ordinary beard. Every single strand was soaked in a bohemian potion, mixed with blood root, toad's heart, and yavengal. Oh. Why were the guards after you? That's a long story. And oh, don't worry about this kind little lady. She saved my life, and she's a half... a third of a friend. A... a third of? This is bad. The connection is down. I can't get in touch with Madame Hoffman. She's probably in an important conversation with the field agent squad and has calls on block. <sighs> it's okay, Marcus. You can do this yourself. Just stay in the conversation. Communication is not that hard. You've done this through before. You can do it. My, my, Kakanya. Are you friends with government officials now? Times have changed indeed. I've been here for a whole year. But I've never seen an official without a beard. Where are you from? Croatia, Moravia, Galicia? I grew up in Romania. Oh, I'm from Bosnia and Herzegovina. That makes us friends, since we're both from somewhere near. <laughs> be careful on the streets these days, Ilich. You could be in trouble too if the guards catch you. After all, you haven't got a license. Huh? You don't? Oh, of course not. Have you read the requirements? Records of safe use of arcane skills within three generations. I was born in the streets. I don't even know who my grandmother was. And the records aren't the hard part to get around. If you're applying in Vienna, the license has to be issued by the central government. It's not an Austrian problem, nor a Hungarian problem. The central government sits in the middle. And no official has any idea of what's what. Should this be the Kaiser's concern? Or the Koenig's? Or both? You'd be the biggest fool to listen and follow these broken rules. Stuck in the system, nowhere to go. Unless you work the magic of crones. What happens if we don't have an Arcanum license? Oh, you'll love this! Who knows? You could get three days in detention or maybe ten years in prison. Even if you are sentenced to prison, they might forget to bring you in. Or if you're an outstanding citizen who can shed your arcanum during your human re-education, you might get to have a nice life. Without a license, that is. Our justice system is much more unpredictable than the arcanists. We still have a fair chance of getting away. Very informative, Hidich. Oh well then. Respeita Kakanya and Miss Foundation. Forget I said anything. They are some arcanist kids on the streets. I'm surprised you know nothing about them. The country has changed, lady, and not everything in Vienna is as decent and sumptuous as the buildings on Ringstrasse and Herrengasse. I'm thankful for your help, Miss Foundation, but so far I have returned a favor. You don't want a guard's easer, do you? Fair even. So, can you tell me why you're here? Oh, I see. Mr. Carl sent you, didn't he? Because I don't have a psychiatrist's license. Can't you people give me a break? I swear on my ancestors, I'm doing this entirely the arcanist way. It has nothing to do with human science. Ah, oh, 
Don't you people ever sleep? Do you not have a life? This is the tenth time this month, even got rest after working six days in a row. I have an Arcanum license inherited from my family. It is nothing to be ashamed of. My fees are reasonable. No one's ever complained. No, um, Miss Kakanya, this is really co coincidental. I, 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 I just happen to know that you are a psychiatrist. Huh? So? A psychiatrist considered doctors now? I think there's been a misunderstanding. We... I'm not here to check your credentials. Then what? Um, so... You call yourself Kakanya, but I know your first name is Clara. Oh, I didn't know the Foundation staff reads my work. How very flattering. Yes, I'm Clara, but Miss Foundation, don't you think Kakanya is an intriguing name? Heinrich, who is a friend of mine, gave me a book which greatly inspired me. <gasps> Our country is just like that name. It both is and isn't. It both has and has not. If you look for it, it can't be found. Yet if you stop looking, it's everywhere. Look at this country, my friend. The sumptuous buildings rise so high that the people in power never have to lay eyes on the rye farmers of Bohemia, the immigrants from the east coast of the Adriatic Sea, or on the Arcanists. How could there possibly be smog choking the industrial area? How could there possibly be cold houses in the winter? The cafe house is definitely filled with people who love to dance, and not with those who can't afford the heat. Oh no. Surely there's no bureaucracy, no discrimination, no poverty here. This is a city of humanism and freedom. Oh, yes. Kakanya. Kaiserlich Königlich. Or Kaiserlich Unkönniglich. And Kakania. The shitland. <laughs> There's no better name for this country. So then, you did get that book. From a friend. Now's my chance. I still have one spider tail Madam Hoffman left me. If I can find a chance to leave the spider tail on her, or in her place. <sighs> I... I'm intrigued by the book. Can I see it? Yes. Report received. <laughs> well, why so serious, Greta? That was just routine. And I envy your light-heartedness and optimism. They got you out of Vienna on such short notice. I can only imagine that must have been difficult for you as well. According to your intel, the Empire has had too many assassinations in a short period of time. This is not good for the critical point, Semmelweis. At least try to stay in a good mood. What else can we do? Aside from that, Greta, I have more to tell you. I was pulled out of Vienna overnight, and I didn't have time to brief the new squad there. You know it takes ages to get through the briefing process. I might as well just tell you now, personally. There could be an arcanist who has crossed the storm. And is now in Vienna. What did you say? Do we know more about this arcanist? We only know his name is Heinrich. We learned about this from the Berlin squad when we met up here. But I had no time to verify. I see. Leave the rest to us. It's true. 
He traveled to Berlin during the sixth storm and survived the 1913 storm there. And after the 1966 storm and the one in 1929. And now it's 1913 for the second time. For all the arcanists who crossed the sixth storm. This is exciting news. Mm-hmm. Their time has returned. I understand the excitement, but perhaps time in its chaotic fashion has inadvertently returned to the same year. I hear you, Semmelweis. This is valuable information. I'll let the... Greta? Are you still there? Sorry, I have to go. Something's wrong with the spider tail I left on Marcus. This is not her ritual. Something's happened. I'm surprised, Miss Marcus. You know so much about Cicero. My Salta Foundation was nothing but bureaucrats and bookworms. Oh, have you been to the Secession Building? Did you like it? Hmm. Shame that book isn't there. Please, come in. Forgive the mess. I must say that it is at least more orderly than the administration of the Empire. Thank you. These are state props. Heinrich left them here. He certainly learned some useful things in Berlin. Make yourself comfortable. I'll get you some tea and look for the book. Please don't bother, Miss Kakanya. I won't stay long. I have to go back to the branch soon. I just need to confirm that you have that book with you at... Uh. Uh. Is this Kakanya's arcane skill? Miss Foundation, it's okay. Just a little trick I use to ensure my personal safety. I usually even charge for this. Look into the mirror which reflects your inner world. This trick has been used by Arcanists for thousands of years. When it was first used, the Roman Emperor still ruled this land. Speaking of which, Miss Foundation, how did you know that the pistol was tampered with? Your arcane skill? Uh, don't look at the mirror. I am curious. No need to be alarmed. I'll treat you gently. <laughs> Shadow Queen. Only one is the correct body. Deep breath, miss. Look at the mirror. This is a private session. Your secrets are safe with me. Now, what do you see? Orphanage, the Flannan Isles, the 
These look like my memories, but different. You can look at them directly, miss. They'll reveal your deepest secrets and desires. <sighs> They're only illusions, Marcus. Just break her arcane skill and get out. I'll do the only thing I can do. Read. I see her. She's behind these illusions, but which one is real? She literally has the playable art, dude. Please give me. Alright. There a difference? Or is it just your luck? <laughs> she has her cards in. <laughs> Schneider also has cards. This doesn't not mean anything. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> Disappointed for it to fluke. You don't want to miss it. Oh, it's a bubble. <gasps> I think I just have to find her. Is a book. Everything can be read. 
These reflections are merely distractions. I found it. The Page of Truth. Oh, it's true. You saw through the illusions as you saw through the pistol. Oh, all right, enough of my tricks. What a pleasant surprise. How does your skill work? Let me see. No, I'm out of here. Alright, chill, buddy. Relax. A final demonstration. Coming! I smell the scent of mint oil. Welcome to the world of numbers! to us. I mean, what? Let me see. The Danube, a river born from dew drops grown into a mighty course. She is a mother to many children, and all are eager to be fed. Here is the empire founded by two of her strongest children, a rich and admirable duo. There's an alluring charm to the music of Music Baron, captivating everyone who visits this place. Oh, I can talk about its art all day, and that's just the beginning. There are 11 children in this empire. When bound together, they are invincible. Their enemies will face catastrophe. See their flourishing cities, the cheering citizens, even the chirping birds are singing a song of a land of freedom. You're just buying everything I'm selling. Be smart, my dear. We make this off. You'll see. If we dive deeper, you'll see something mm. different. You'll see charity dancers raising funds for the poor. The icing on the cake for the philanthropist, they said. Though no one knows where the money goes. You'll see mice eating the bodies of the beggars. The arcanists being ousted from their arts. And poverty spreading its misery like an illness. Except in the great duo, Austria and Hungary, in the vast and intimidating centers of power they've built together. The other children, however, were shut out at the door. They may have their talents. But that alone cannot buy them a place at the table. Bohemia, Moravia... The Empire has only the slightest sympathy to these forgotten children. Nothing more than articles of fine words written in the newspapers. How funny it is to see these poor humans now sharing in the same fate as the Arcanists. 
Do you think they will choose to hold together, even if left outside of the negotiation table? The only way is cooperation, and people are always stubborn. Oh, so you're a pessimist. Then I guess you will enjoy the drama of this broken family. The truth is they will fight each other like rats in a barrel, until every one of them falls. Crack, crack. Did you hear it? It's the fracturing of a great empire, like the breaking of spring ice. In an army that speaks 20 different languages, who can the general trust to obey his commands? Only those who speak the language he does. You can already imagine it. A ridiculous beast with 11 limbs, each pulling in their own direction. Limping across the battlefield until it gets shot. Luckily, that time hasn't come yet. The crying of the children is still being drowned out by the music playing in the theater and the beating hearts within the dancers' chests. The wails of suffering are silent in the newspapers, and the world sees only the silvery mirage of freedom and prosperity. Believing all these children can live in harmony. Ah, oh, but my darling, we know that the ice must break. It's as inevitable as the thaw of spring. Shit. If anybody is curious, like she's talking about the uh, countries or like the territories part of the Austrian Hungarian Empire before World, I, World War I. Did that. Between the doors. The reflections she created were real enough, but not perfect. The reflections had neither shadows nor breath. Most importantly, they didn't have her passion and subtle movements. I read the truth from these details. She meant me no harm. Maybe it was just a little trick she was playing. But I... This is... that was... I knew it. Your arcane scale is incredibly unique. You can discover what's on the inside by observing what's on the outside. You are born to be a psychiatrist! Huh? Look at you. You are so tiny. And they give you this big coat? How can they do this to a child? How about you quit the foundation and be my assistant? Your perception would be invaluable in this line of work. After all, we search for truth from foggy memories and vague descriptions for a living. Ah, uh, miss. The book? Forget the book! A new academic field is opening its doors to you! Let's go inside! Oh dear, I forgot your tea! Gosh, she's bubbling like a parrot! <laughs> it's Madame Hoffman! <clears throat> Ma'am? Marcus, the spider tail has shown me your direction. How did you get that far? What is that place? An arcane fluctuation? I'm with the target Miss Kakania, in her clinic. I'm safe. Investigation's going well, ma'am. 
stay where you are. I'm on my way. And take care of yourself. You hear me? Um, yes, ma'am. Was that your supervisor? She sounds rather harsh. I do have to question the Foundation hiring underage children and all. Just in time. Well, actually, Madame Hoffman is very kind to me. Well, you have seen it all for yourself. Me, my clinic, my arcane skill. I showed you everything. Have they cleared up your doubts, Miss Marcus? Just one more question. Please, go ahead. About... the circle. Huh? Did you go through all this trouble just for that? You could have asked me earlier. I am the founder of the circle. Whoa, what? You're awfully excited. Are you an admirer? Joking. It's just a little group a couple of friends started out of interest. Completely legal. Nothing nefarious. We're committed to changing the Arcanist current situation. More committed than the Foundation. There will be a non-profit exhibit soon, and all donations will help lower-class arcanists get their license. Which should have been your responsibility. Oh, sorry, I got carried away. I should persuade you to join us, not to take your current job. And the painting in this exhibit will be the salvation? That's right, you've been to the Secession building. And that's a masterpiece which would be hard to miss. That was Teofi's final piece of work. The Golden Isle being its subject. It was big news at the time. The island hidden from all people in the Aegean Sea. The ancient Arcanist settlement. The strange current and magnetic field around it. The animals only heard in stories, and a shadow of modern society cast upon it. Well, those are just hearsay. People have all kinds of speculations about it. A military base, a mystical kingdom, the apocalypse. The Foundation knows it better than any of us. Miss Marcus, I've told you everything I know. If you trust me, please tell me one thing. I'm sorry, Miss Kakanya. I can't. Are there really our people on that island? If so, how did they protect themselves in these changing times? This is my only question, as an arcanist and as a human being. The arms companies are turning the Balkan Peninsula into a proving ground for their new weapons. That was how they discovered this island. You work for the authorities. You must know something. Please, I just want to know if... If there's any more of us in this world, suffering, silenced, and helpless? Fine. You work for the Foundation, after all. I shouldn't have asked. It's just that I'm hoping for at least one rational person in such an irredeemable bureaucracy. Someone who doesn't think it's just a bunch of deranged lunatics over there. Bitch is a stigma the Arcanists have carried around for centuries. No! We're not crazy! I don't think the Arcanists on the island are crazy either. Miss Marcus. The 
Dr. Kakania, I know there has been discord and resentment between humans and Arcanists, but not everyone is like Mr. Kull. We're from the headquarters where many like you are fighting for the rights of Arcanists. When it comes to caring for our people, we're not so different there. That was what the Foundation was for, to defend the interests of the Arcanists and to keep the world safe and orderly. Till this day, we continue to strive for this goal. My sympathies for all that is happening. We could have been very good friends, if you weren't working for the Foundation. I know you meant every word you said. I can see how you burned with passion. The Circle was founded for the same reason. But I will not change my view on certain things. Um... But on second thought, I have friends working in all kinds of places. We have a big house, plenty of wine and refreshments. There's more than enough room for a new friend. I would like to invite you to the secession building, and to be present at the opening of the exhibit, Miss Marcus. And we can talk more about what you said afterwards. <gasps> That'd be great! But my men, um, my supervisor... Hmm, that is tricky. But a minor like you requires the presence of a guardian, and you told me that she's kind to you. Well, she can come with you. We must abide by the law, after all. It might help to clear up misunderstandings if she's there. All right. I have to inform Heinrich that we have two more guests coming. Oh, shoot. I have an appointment today. I almost forgot the time. I have to go. Uh, I know what you're going to ask, but patient information is confidential. I shouldn't keep you any longer. See you soon, Miss Foundation. Welcome to the circle. I should go. Thank you, Miss Kakanya. She's not here yet. <laughs> Friendly exchanges. Hmm. In noisy green plane. Kanya being angry at this bird, I think. It's 
stop causing trouble. <laughs> and I think this is a combat stage. Thing. Nothing unexpected. Oh, no. Sterilize. The bones will tell. <laughs> A mice pot. Pardon me. Ow. Plant candy. The music will speak. Three. Two, one, down. I don't think we're even halfway through. <laughs> this is gonna be a long chapter, just as I predicted. Where go? Sterilized. Aside from the cutscene that went on the newspaper. We haven't gotten anywhere near the island. <laughs> the show's on. The bones will tell. Time waits for no one, even for a great king. How do I explain the whole the thing in the short? Never warns about its changes. I don't know when you live but left, but Marcus saved Kakanya from dying and learned some lore stuff with the circle. We did a battle with Kakanya. Victory, the mother of arrogance. And now we're here. You know what happened, storm. but under the Foundation's regulations, I must reiterate that the primary subject of this investigation has been changed to Heinrich. These two invitations are very useful. I'll tell the field agent squad to act tomorrow night. Once Heinrich's identity is verified, we will detain him in the exhibit. But I must remind you, Marcus. What you did today was a serious violation of the field mission manual, and I have to report this to the headquarters. That island is not of this era. Everything about it is strictly confidential. You have crossed a line. Understood. I know what you're thinking. We need to get closer to this group. You might think their ideas are closer to those of the headquarters, and therefore easier to work with compared to the Vienna branch.
You must know that Kakanya is not our only source of information. On the one hand, Carl has given us a list. In principle, everyone on this list is useful. On the other hand, the branch has its own connections too. More importantly, it takes more than a conversation over tea to get the people on the same side of a conflict. I'm worried you are not ready for this, Marcus. There's too much wickedness out there dressed in the skin of kindness. The most horrible atrocities are always committed for the most seemingly justified reasons. Even at the headquarters, people are mired in power struggles and compromises. Sorry, ma'am. I was naive. It will be the Foundation's judgment call. If the information you've gathered outweighs the risks, you may be treated leniently. Marcus. Look at the street. You are not the only one who wants to contribute to this place and its people. We come for peace, and many before us have tried to prevent foreseeable tragedies, only to cause greater tragedies. The rules are there for a reason. Nothing in the manual was written out of imagination. Every one of them came from a mistake of the past. We are only here to observe. This is Vienna in 1914, the birthplace of an enduring war and chaos, the critical point. It is a powder keg, and the slightest spark will set it off. Any action we take could have unfathomable consequences. That is why we advise extreme caution. This is our responsibility to this era. I understand completely, Madam Hoffman. I won't make the same mistake again. Isot, you look sad and pale. What happened? Did something happen in the troop? Or did those dreadful officials come back? No, I'm just... a bit worried. You... you entered a duel for my sake. Dear Lord, the thought of you getting hurt breaks my heart. Did Heinrich tell you that? He needs to keep his mouth shut. Don't worry about me, Isolde. I fought for the ethics of the profession, and I'm ready to bear the consequences of my actions. That scum sold the secrets of hypnosis to the military. It's a treatment, not a means of interrogation. In the end, all is well. The duel didn't happen, and I'm here, unharmed. All thanks to that young Missy from the Foundation. That young Missy from the Foundation? The lady who just left? I bumped into her at the door. So you've seen her? She was at the cessation building. You weren't there. Did she give you any trouble? You told me the Foundation was after you for a while because you didn't have a license. I can help you, Doctor. I can ask Mr. Carl to... Ah, no need for that. We only just became friends. Friends? You told me to stay away from the Foundation staff, but now you're making friends with them. Oh, she's different, dear Isolde. We met by chance. 
I gave her an invitation to the exhibit, so you'll see her there. I think you two will become best friends. It would take all day to tell you everything. You're here for treatment. Let's not waste time on unimportant things. Unimportant? All right. You're a personal friend, Isolde, so I didn't want to give you therapy in the first place. Be because I'm not good enough or sick enough to be your patient? No, 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 because I'm not good enough. I wasn't properly trained. I don't have a medical license or a degree. This is a cold hard truth, and you're too important a friend to me. But I can no longer watch you suffer from the horrible treatments those quacks gave you. I may not have a license, but I have the knowledge and ethics that they don't. I never overcharge my treatment, nor sell unnecessary things to the patient, and I will never experiment on my patients. <laughs> Your smile. So you agree with what I said about those psychiatrists and doctors? Okay. Then let's get to it. Dr. Sigmund Freud wrote that repression of desires is one of the primary causes of hysteria. You need to release these desires. I'll guide your memory to find the deeply hidden thoughts. Trust me, and tell me everything during the session. You'll suffer less from the repression, and your physical ailments, fainting and convulsions, will become less severe. Cast off your shackles and trust in me. This first step is crucial. I know tragedies in your family have affected you deeply, but I'm here to help you now. If you have trouble putting thoughts into words, use this mirror. It reflects your inner thoughts, like a mind's endoscope. I casted an arcane skill on it to help your thoughts surface. Look at it, and tell me what you see. My inner thoughts. Yes, I won't hypnotize you. Nor will I turn around and peek at the mirror. But in there belongs to only you. We're just going to talk. Hypnosis is a therapy I most detest. It doesn't help you understand and rediscover yourself. And if the dialogue isn't based on the full awareness and consent of both parties, it's pointless. I see. I will do my best. Do your best? <laughs> Relax, you're not on the job. Just turn around, look in the mirror, and tell me. What do you see? Um... I see... golden circles. Theophil in his study, on his feet. His... Hand gesturing intensely in the air. Ah, yes. I am there too. I'm... <sighs> Odd. Why am I not here? Doctor, is your mirror not working? It's not showing my reflection. No, no, this isn't right. I promise to do my best. I was there. I must have been. I have to remember it. You prepared all of this for my sake. I mustn't disappoint you. Oh no, she's stuck in her obsessive thoughts. Isolde, please sit down and listen to my voice. Session building? Now I understand. I have to get her to stop relying so much on her arcane power. <sighs> Luckily, not completing my education is why I know a little bit of everything.
What are you doing, Doctor? Is the session over? Was it because I did something wrong? D did I mess up? Nonsense. You were doing great. I just have to clean the room a bit. Shu! Go away! Mirrors are useless to ghosts. Leave my patient alone and never come back. Confusing her. I have to calm her before she hurts herself. I'll take care of you, Miss Dittersdorf. Shh. Tell me, who is here? I'll behave, Miss Kakanya. Look at me, please. Who? She's a little girl. No worries. Who really yeah. made this year? Hmm. Are you a rat in our number? Let's get it over quick. Tu peux la jeter maintenant. La charme de plat. Got you. Does her actual voice tones when you play her have to? This is an extra copy like ever of the playable version. Right. Yeah. servant brought you back. I'm sorry. I sympathize. But please give me my life back. It's not as nice as you think. They're only memories, Isol. What happened next? No. You died. And then... Was here? Miss Kakanya? Tan, another ghost? But the story was not over. It continued with our bloodline. The 
second child hogged all the attention. A genius, but a mentally unstable one. I hope the bloodline doesn't end up killing her. She understood and sat down. She got scared and began to cry. This is not a stage. It is all real. Amid the shaking and convulsions, the second child remembered that she was really the third child. A seizure. A memory related to the electroshock therapy? At least my treatment's working. She's exploring her repressed memories. No! No! I don't want to hear! A letter. A letter is doing all you need. Not even gonna... Tap. I smell the scent of mint oil. I smell the scent of mint oil. For a burning cage. Did you hear something crack, fall, and split apart? Snap, crackle. The fire is yelling. Something's burning in the fire. They left. It's okay, I'm here. You'll be alright. I remember it's Feeling better now? Is anything still haunting you? Talking to you? Do you remember who you are, Isolt? Oh, yes, Doctor. I see it now. That fire. The fire that devoured everything. How could I ever forget? The raging fire consumed everything, including Theophil. He was She's screaming. Crying. His mind was already gone before he ignited it all. How could he ignore everything with such disregard? Who allowed him to forget with such disregard? What I remember, I remember it all. I am from a noble family. I need to be a qualified Dittersdorf. An outstanding arcanist. A first-rate opera singer, a good sister, and a good daughter. Never forget my manners, never forget the family. But he... he got away with it. 
If Teofil was truly a man of courage, he should have joined the army or fought a duel with someone. That would have made his death more honorable. Yet, he chose to die this way, after a life of debauchery. It's okay, Isot. You're doing it right. That's what therapy is for. These memories are exactly what we need. What's been deliberately repressed and ignored in the depths of your heart will manifest into words and help you reconnect with your emotions. Soon your symptoms of hysteria will diminish. Don't be afraid. You can talk to me about anything. In the name of my family and the Hippocratic Oath, I will keep things between you and me. Everything will be a secret. Our secret. Our secret. <laughs> Klingt wunderbar. Ich erinnere mich an dieses Zimmer. Das Zimmer war übermäßig hell. Ich konnte mich nie an Glühbirnen gewöhnen und bevorzugte das sanftere Licht von Kerzen. Meine Mutter hatte immer eine weiße Kerze brennen, wenn sie mich beim zu Bett gehen sah. is muted again it's an amazing bright in that room always Just... in the past my mother always held a white candle when she visited me before going to bed what is with this Kerze passiert? Where did the candle go? Jemand hat sie umgeworfen. Das freche Balk. Mein dunkelhaariger Bruder. Knocked over by my brother. It's been knocked over by Theophil. Er zündete die Kerze an. Setzte das Zimmer in Brand. Und verbrannte all seine Gemälde. Yeah, much like the trail said on the trailer. He lit everything on the fire. Er rannte zu mir. Sein Körper brannte. In seiner Hand war. Oh. Wait, what? He like walked towards or like rushed towards her, burning. Holding Eine Waffe. a gun. Ich sagte Theophil einmal, er sei kein Genie wie Weininger. Sich eine Kugel zu geben, werde ihn nicht berühmt machen. Nur ein Debüt hinterlässt Eindruck. Die folgenden Shows sind langweilige Wiederholungen. She told, she told him that he's not a genius for shoot, that shooting himself will not make him famous. Something like that. Er lachte. In der Tat, zu viele haben sich für Ruhm erschossen. Nur durch leidenschaftliches Feuer würde die Welt sich an mich erinnern. Uh, he laughed and like said there are already like 
a lot of people shooting themselves in the end <laughs> that <laughs> if they want to be remembered by the world <laughs> they have to add another fire ich verabschiedete mich von ihm und ging nach unten um mit den damen zu sprechen Lucio tränkte den Holzboden und tropfte in meinen Becher. Tropf. 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 Ich ging nach oben und fand Theophel in eine Blutlache liegen. She said goodbye to him to walk uh, downstairs with, to, with the other ladies. Then the blood penetrated the floor above and fell into her teacup. She then walked back upstairs and saw Theophil in a pool of blood. Ein Revolver lag in seiner Hand. Ah, wie sein Zylinder wie Musik klickte. And the gun was in his hand she's describing it that's like beautiful and then she, this is a laugh i think then a beautiful revolver with a pleasant sound when it was pulled. ich hab mein kleid an damit das feuer wie wasser herabrollen konnte Ich lehnte mich über das Loch an seiner linken Schleff und sagte, Theophil, wo ist dein Feuer? What? She, she leaned down. What does that mean? Uh... Temple hole on the left side of his head. She just this one I'm just gonna translate this and like Theophil Oh uh, what does that mean? Where is your fire? Theophil setzte sich auf und sagte I don't know what that means. Isolde Wo is deine Waffe? Wait, what he feel is still alive? Uh, Theophil said he sold where is your gun? Ihre Waffe? Meine Waffe? Your gun, my gun. Okay. Ich erinnere mich jetzt. Ich hielt die Waffe die ganze Zeit. Please stop moving. Please stop moving. All right. It's my gun. She rem she remembered the gun was always been in this in her hand. Wait. Theophil was not holding the gun. It's always been on Isolde's hand. I don't like where this is going. Theophil stand im Arbeitszimmer. Die Flammen umhüllten den Balken, die Decke, alles. Stretch out. His hand trying to pull me. Theophil was trying to pull his soul into the fire. What? That's just what. Er rannte auf mich zu, schreiend vor Schmerzen. Er brannte. Die Hitze trocknete mir die Augen aus. He rushed towards her, wailing, he is in pain. Oof. Er 
Er stand in Flammen und rannte auf mich zu. Doktor, er rannte auf mich zu. He's always scared. He is like on fire. He is on fire. He's coming to her. And like. Oh, I'm against. Oh, how do I translate? He's on fire. He's coming to me. Doctor, he's coming to me. I think that's really accurate. Tief einatmen. Ganz langsam ausatmen. Es ist alles in Ordnung, Isolde. Ich bin hier bei Ihnen. Sie sind sicher. She's just trying to calm her down. She's calming down. Und dann hörte ich einen Schuss. Did, did I read that? What the? I heard the gunshot. I guess it's pretty explosive. Ich kann mich nicht erinnern. Der Abzug war schwer zu ziehen. Nach dem Schuss ist es mir aus der Hand gerutscht. She can't remember it clearly. The trigger was very hard. Ich habe Tiefe getötet. Es war ich. It was me that killed Tiefel. Me. zu haben, an seiner Beerdigung teilzunehmen oder seine Gedenkerstellungen zu veranstalten. Ich verdiene keine Sympathie und Freundlichkeit. She's like, uh, like saying she's not qualified for to attend his fun funeral or the memorial or like to sympathize the sympathies that the other people are giving her. Ich hätte in dem Feuer verbrennen sollen. Ich hätte sterben sollen. <lacht> oh Gott. <lacht> she's saying, uh, she should have also walked into the fire. She should have also died. Oh no. <lacht> Alles ist gut. Ich bin weder Richter noch Polizist, Isolde. Ich bin einfach nur Ihr Arzt. Ich werde Ihnen treu bleiben, egal was Sie denken, wer Sie sind. She's saying that she's not a judge, a police, or... Uh, she's not a judge, she's not a police. She's just her doctor. Ihr Leben war in Gefahr. Jeder hätte dasselbe getan. Hmm. Es war hmm. nicht ihre Schuld, die sollte. Sie waren einfach verängstigt. Okay, it's not your fault. You were just frightened. Schämen Sie sich nicht für Ihr instinktives Verhalten. Seien Sie versichert, Ihr Geheimnis ist bei mir sicher. Please be rest assured that she will give this a secret. Nach Dr. Freud ist das Akzeptieren ihrer Dunkelheit der erste Schritt zur Befreiung. According to me, Dr. Freud, uh, accepting the darkness is the first step for oppression. 
Es erfordert Mut und ist nicht einfach zu tun. Die meisten Menschen Still haven't schaffen es seen nicht. Barkana or Aber even sie haben das sehr gut gemacht. Just encouraging her, like, uh, that she's very uh, courageous, that not many people have even done this or can do this. Habe ich eine gute Arbeit geleistet? Did I do well? You did. Doctor! <laughs> All right, this is as far as I can walk you. You have to host a ceremony tomorrow and Tosca's next week. Vienna won't forgive me if I take up too much of your time. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Like you said, the night breeze will do me some good. I heard from Heinrich that you're trying new things. I read his stage design. The style of Berlin expressionism he adopted is quite refreshing. I have to admit, he became a little strange after his trip to Berlin. But his passion for art didn't change, nor did his love for his fellow Viennese. I appreciate his hard work as well. But, sadly, the Vienna Court Opera didn't approve our performance application. So we turned to the Wiener Volksoper. Well, I'm not surprised. Understand that Mr. Mahler is the artistic director of the Vienna Court Opera, and even he could not bring Salome to the stage. Those boring, stale old-timers will never approve of new forms of art. They always expect something predictable and unvarying. The same old pieces and settings. I'm the reason Tosca can't get the permission. Because I, the star, am a medium, a maniacal arcanist. Oh no, that's not it. In Vienna, the great composers, conductors, and performers, almost all of them have been arcanists. Wiping out the unique talents of arcanists and their artistic contributions would be like setting fire to the cultural tapestry of Viennese society! Oh, sorry, a flood. A flood is better. They consider it a desecration of the stage. When a singer is channeling, she's essentially asking a spirit to possess her and speak directly through her. Thus, she becomes the character in the opera. People will question the authenticity of the voice. Is it still the singer's own voice? Or is it a fraud? No, Isolde. They think that because they know nothing about performance. Not even the slightest thing. The nature of the stage is to be someone else. If they're so intent on the presentation of the true self, the mayors in my clinic would like a word with them. It is an actor's job to become another person. On stage, in a fictional world, they briefly trick our eyes into thinking it's real. And to achieve that, we rehearse rigorously through sweat and pain. We take care of the music, the costumes, the settings, the lights. Your gift helps you do this better than others. That's all. But I use the arcane skills of the Dittersdorf family. I couldn't have done these things without them. What if an arcanist's talent for art is also a curse? Maybe I'm just a fraud, Doctor. 
I'm propped up by my illness, and once it's cured, my talent will be gone with it. It's not like that, Isolt. Using your talents is not cheating. We're arcanists, but before we allow ourselves to be defined by that word, who are we, really? If an arcanist grew up on a lonely island, she wouldn't see herself as an arcanist, but as a person like you, like me, like everyone. Doctor. But you know, the truth is, when I look at a crowd, I don't see any arcanists. All I see is our people, with different talents, trapped in life, their selfhoods ground smooth until they're indistinguishable from the crowd. Humans celebrate their flaws, yet they persecute our gifts. They control the narrative. They define our gifts as diseases, our talents as weaknesses, and our bloodlines as curses. If we are cured, they're just another face in the crowd. But if we live on with our diseases, we're forever ill, forever afflicted. We arcanists have to live in such a world, where we survive through suffering. Look at this city. This most enlightened, tolerant city. Under the sweet surface of the Sachertorte lies powder and poisonous vine. Arcanists are recognized for their artistic abilities. Nothing more. We hold no parliamentary seats, no professional titles, and no professional credentials. We are exiled and marginalized. Our only voice in the culture is to be decoration. Because decoration impacts nothing. The restrictions and discrimination against Arcanists are worsening by day. First, we had to register with the government. Then we needed residence permits. And now, permission to cast Arcane skills. And we can do nothing but tolerate, stay polite and dignified. Be a good Arcanist, show no signs of instability. Because we're supposed to stay rational, otherwise we're animals. But people are complicated. They can't stay rational forever. As Dr. Freud said, we're just seeing the tip of the iceberg. You might be sick. I might be too. But the truth is, this whole society is sick. You can't just treat the individual and ignore the bigger picture. It was the repression of irrational desires that allowed the diseases to spread in our time. In this case, the people on that island are much freer than we are. You mean that mysterious island? I hear gold is in the ground there. Remember the lady from the Foundation? Yes. Why? She said the Arcanists on that island are not lunatics, and they're living a life free of restrictions. Doesn't that sound great? If we could form our own society, like those artistic associations, and have control over our own production and labor... This must have been some kind of enlightenment. I can almost see it. They'll show us another way of life, a kingdom free of oppression. To help them is to help ourselves. And that's also what your exhibit is about. Me? No, I'm not as great a person as you. But you are working for a great cause. Isolde, my friend, I've shared my dream with you, and I hope one day it'll become your own, until the day when everyone shares the same dream. Our society needs a revolution, a radical surgery. We urgently need a new vision to reunite us at the dawn of the new century. 
Like the secession in art history, we need a secession of Arcanum to distinguish us from hysterical lunatics, street peddlers, and con artists. We need a new dream, a new saga. We need to reinvent ourselves and become a new people. No more repression, only the full embrace of our primal desires. That's why your work has not been in vain. From Tailfield's art exhibition to the promotion of new art. Do not doubt yourself. You're helping a great cause. Thank you, Doctor. This is the first time anyone said that to me. I would bear that in mind. Your words in the breeze of night have been stirring. Can you walk with me a little longer? I'd like to hear more things about the cessation you mentioned, so that I can prepare my speech for tomorrow's ceremony. Yes, it is my pleasure. Would you like a walk to the Vina Folk Supper? I think they put up new posters. It's just one. Oh my god. Wait, I forgot to do this. Vienna Daily. Is it a newspaper? Yeah. Tragic fate. Alright. A soul supporter of science. Sorry about the We still have a lot to go through. Uh, there's at least 24 uh, battle stages. <laughs> uh, there's gonna be uh, like the prologue stuff too. So much more than that. What about like... Uh, chapter 5 is 21. <laughs> Let's do this. Trash. That. <laughs> no longer pretend that the world. The world is in chaos. Let me just read this. It's, a, it's like propaganda or something. Twelve. Art like said that. When are the main other main characters going to come? <laughs> Reporter of New Free Press, editor in chief of the Pan, the founder of Tifakel. Oh, that's Aegon Erwin Kish, the reporter who uncovered the scandal surrounding Colonel Alfred Redel. I had investigated this before. Adolf Loss, the architect. He designed the Steiner House, as I recall. That's Major Maximilian Honge and his wife. 
who knew that celebrities like them would visit this exhibition? But they look different from the pictures in the papers. They were younger and less chubby. Has my memory failed me? Or is it because photography is also an art of beautification? Mr. Cole was right. People are flocking to the secession building to get a glimpse of the new art. I can't appreciate these things at all. I've informed the field agent squad. As soon as Heinrich shows up, we'll get him under control. Ideally, we will take him away for a legal use of arcane skills. It is the best reason and the least risk. It also complies with the laws of this time. If Menes Vindicte is behind all this, they will show themselves for sure. The squad will assist us with the perimeter by then. Marcus, your mission is to watch everything closely. Heinrich could be disguised and hiding in the crowd. Also keep an eye on the manners and the rituals. That's what we were originally here for. Leave it to me. I won't miss a thing. Mr. Thomas, the representative, is talking to the ladies about Expressionism. His parents did not foresee the success of Impressionism, the works that made no sense but became priceless on the market. That's why his generation overcorrects their aesthetic standard and pays compliments to any art they don't understand. The reporter for the new free press and that major are discussing the frequent suicides in Vienna. They've written articles about it, and many of them attributed to the publication of The Sorrows of Young Weather. Catania is describing the founding idea of this circle. This is the first magic circle drawn by the primitive men. Hmm, huh, quite a strong woman. The military exercise in Bosnia and Herzegovina this spring, General Conrad to lose power, a low pressure trough on the Atlantic Ocean, Ivory colored paper for official use only. The general, wife of a cabinet member, court sand. Is arcanum a bacterial infection? Is psychoanalysis a new type of mental illness? Mr. Heinrich is not here. Nothing useful on this page. Ah, Miss Isolde again. She's the host of the exhibition. She seems healthier than the last time we met. I don't know why, but I'm happy for her. She's about to make a speech. It is my honor to host this exhibition. Before we begin, I'd like to express my gratitude for Mr. Heinrich, who is Theophil's friend and the curator of this exhibition. Heinrich still hasn't shown up. Did he notice something? And also, a friend of mine. The founder of the circle, Miss Clara. Without her tireless work behind the scenes, we wouldn't be here today. Born into a rising arcane family of the middle class, Miss Clara is a devoted doctor and an art connoisseur with impeccable taste. Dr. Kakanya is standing up, greeting the guests. That's an awkward smile. Looks like she didn't see this coming. Hmm. Miss Isolde is giving her an encouraging look. She wants to introduce her friend to the celebrities? So they're actually very close. <sighs> I told her not to mention my name. Miss Kakanya is lowering her hat. Does she not like the spotlight? No, that's not it. Is it because of Miss Didastov's gaze? This is the debut of the Salvation. The only painting Teofil left behind. 
This is it. In his last moments, Teofil became obsessed with the Golden Isle. He envisioned it as a realm of art and culture, a utopia for Arcanists. There, the primal vitality and passion of Arcanists would be preserved and never tainted by the outside world. He hoped that island holds the hope of salvation. Hmm, is this so? This is above my clearance. Sounds like everyone in Vienna has their own interpretation of the island. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention, please. We are forming a committee to petition the Empire to cease its attacks on the island. The Arcanists there are not lunatics. They are simply living free. Huh? Their existence is a revelation to us. To help them is to help ourselves. Our society is sick. Treating the individual is only treating a symptom. It needs a radical surgery. A revolution that will let us rediscover our oppressed nature and reinvent ourselves in this world. Something's wrong. Her speech is... I wish for the Arcanists to unite and establish an independent kingdom of freedom free from repression and oppression. <gasps> it's an emergency. Seal the exits. Add is all to our targets. Marcus, now. What? Am I hearing things, or did Miss Dittledorf really say that? Oh, forgive her. Perhaps Miss Dittledorf hasn't fully recovered from her illness. I think so too. What? How? I did not tell her to... Ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, calm down! Do not panic, for I have found salvation for you! Henry? What is that behind you? Often the target showed up. The golems are attacking us. I see it too. The arcane skill of object enchantment. Marcus, give it a read. Please do not ignore what Miss Datusdorf is saying. This is a proving ground for a world-ending experiment. A catastrophe is coming. The clouds of war are filling up the sky. Open your eyes and look at all we have now. The music, the art. The ambitions of progress! Man's gunfire will destroy them all! What? What are you all talking about? Not to worry, Doctor. You simply don't know yet. Follow me and I'll show you everything. Where your dream has taken a root. This is ridiculous. An independent kingdom? It is treason. We are Viennese. Why would we want to leave our own country? Are these golems works of art too? They look expensive. I'd like one in my collection. Open the door and let us go. This travesty is a disgrace. Damn, are these golems immune to Arcanum? We can't get to Heinrich! Madame Hoffman, I read them. Object enchantment strokes. The same ones we found at the Foundation branch. Any signs of the Manus rituals? 
No, nothing yet. Golems can only be broken from within. Marcus, tell everyone the method. Ola, evacuate everyone and use the mute spell. Don't let more people hear about the error. Heinrich escaped with his old. There's an opening behind the painting. After them. Loads of war. I'm... I'm guessing this, but... World War One might be the cause of the storm in this era, and making World War One happen earlier will make the storm happen much earlier. Much like what happened in the nineteen thirties. What is this? Mm, I think that. Also, what the? These enemies. <laughs> <laughs> A night at home. the tunnel <sighs> stop the chase let's not cause any more disturbances this is strange what is it Marcus Foundations, kids. Oh, the island. Oh, oh we're in the island. Wait, let me do this first. What is this? Seth Ward. I'm having that in my brain. It's like the shoe polishing, shoe polishers, or something. All right, this <laughs> we're on the island now.
Thank you for your mediation within the committee. I think you're right. Sending more people to the island will only exacerbate the trust issue. They don't trust us. And that's what Arcana wants. Things have just got better. And we can't let anything else upset this delicate balance. I think... If we somehow can't come to an agreement with the Apeiron, we should at least prevent them from allying with the Manus in turn. Come in, please. Good morning, Miss Verton. I'm here to see if you need help with anything. May I have some more paper? Of course. We are always generous in our support of the Contemplative. Thank you, Miss Marta. Don't you want to ask me what I'm writing letters for? Despite all the unpleasant events, the integrity of your soul number is unquestionable. The Foundation is negotiating with the outside world. They are trying to resolve this unfounded territorial dispute peacefully. We've yet to reveal the coordinates of the island, and don't want to exacerbate the conflict. Could you convey our sincere intentions? <laughs> You're such a young girl, yet you sound like an official. But I'm just a practitioner without a number. A roamer of turbulent times. I haven't been on this island much longer than you. I will send your message, but I'm not the one who makes the decisions. It's just, from what I know about the teachings of Aperon, what you're striving for is not of their concern, Miss Verton. I don't understand. All that is trivial in the phenomenal world is the trivialest of trivialities. If the emanation arrives, everything will be washed away. Wars, disputes... Their number one priority is how to find salvation, once and for all. Emanation is the storm, if you don't remember. The fact is, we're going astray. The Emanation in 1999 had taken away almost all our outside contacts. Ever since the incident four years ago, we've been cut off from the outside world and have become an isolated island in the Emanation. And during these four years, no research on the emanation progressed. In the end, the theoretical study of its patterns was proven completely wrong. How long should we sit idly by? Until the humans take over our island? No matter who revealed our coordinates, be it the Foundation or Manus Vindicte, someone should be held responsible. 37 is the one in charge of studying the emanation. Save your questions until after she wakes up. Six is treating her now. Also, talking about the decisions made four years ago is meaningless now. What's more, the Foundation is not hostile. They helped us minimize the damage from the reveal. Manus Vindicte has also given us constant material support since that difficult time four years ago. <laughs> 37. She's just a child. Can't even handle her own business. Ever since she brought outsiders to the sacred place, everything has changed. 
Shut you know you're judging a child in a coma? Even if 37 did something wrong, she's certainly paying for it. Don't get angry. What 42 is trying to say is simple. Even if the emanation will take away the human army, when is it coming? Now that our model has failed, how can we be informed of the next emanation and act accordingly? If pure theoretical research is doomed to failure, and if we must look outward, how can we restore communication with the outside world? Do we stand with the Foundation, or with Manus Vindicte? Two hundred and ten. Your words are provocation. Are you saying that we should stop being neutral and get involved in the endless faction disputes? This is against what Apiron stands for. I can't agree either. The truth is supposed to keep us off the Wheel of Birth, not on it. I was just interpreting what 42 had in mind. Moreover, we're already caught in the Wheel of Birth. Human weapons were undeniably dropped on our island before. The tragedies it caused and the thirst for justice will only keep us trapped in this cycle. But what caused this cycle to begin with? Brothers and sisters, you are blinded by the shrapnels of that conflict, and you're missing the essence. Listen to me and I will tell you. Cut to the chase, 210. It seems you're the one blinded by your own rhetorics. Who can get me the stone clock on Six's seat? I'll clobber him myself. The original cause is the failure of our research on emanation. Our excellence comes from our beliefs. Once the truth fails us, the foundation that sets us apart from the world will also fail us. However, my people of great wisdom, forgive me for imagining a worst case for you. We believe the Book of Nature was written in the language of mathematics, and every number is a transcendental existence living in the kingdom of eternity. Math is the path to truth. The calculation of math patterns has led us to pursue the fundamental knowledge of the world, the origin of Numa. But what if the supreme existence has no pattern at all? What if the ebb and tide of Numa is chaotic and irrational? 210, are you denying our beliefs? Are you saying the results we've achieved are just coincidences? The fundamental theorems of ancient mathematics? The applications and improvements from modern mathematics? The mathematical laws in atomic clocks? And leaf venation? And every prophecy of emanation that were proven correct? Were they all just a collective dream of ours? Well, like I said... I was just imagining a worst-case scenario. Exhaustion is also a common method of proof. Please help us, O oh Apiron. Correct the errors of our souls. Bring us back on the right path. Harmonize our spirit with the flesh. Our will with life. Avoid sedition from a city. Purge sickness from the body. Eagles. Well, am I mistaken? Ah, 
Are these all from the outside world? What's happening out there? A lovely day to rest at an outdoor cafe, isn't it, darling? Everyone working here is a capable server and knows how to address you properly with my lady. I'm here for one simple thing. Information. With a careful ear to the goings-on, a shrewd businesswoman can gather all the latest news. Oh, there she comes. That girl in green with the bouncing feathers in her hat. Don't worry. She can't hear us from here. I recognize her. Of course you do. Isn't she our lively little cockatoo? She says she's a psychiatrist, but with all the work she does for the people, she's more like Vienna's own Robin Hood. Oh, look at those people around her. With their gold cufflinks and patched sleeves. Very likely they're from Leopoldstadt. You can hear them saying, Our golden era is finally here. Forget all these melodramatic rumors. Leopold. Maybe you know it by a different name. Perhaps you caught a glimpse of it under the list of exhibit sponsors? Europe at that time welcomed people from all over the world. Its culture and art held as their highest ideals. Its institutions believed they held the keys to paradise. They once believed that they were the lucky few. Blessed with the wisdom of a golden age, that's why they still linger here, even after the smoke of war faded the glimmers of gold away. It's not surprising to see Our Lady with them. See, she loves to seek these well-hidden things and chirp along with the most overlooked voices. But I feel sorry for her, because she herself overlooks some of these teeny tiny things said at her own expense. Oh, what is this? What is up with it? Words taken as jokes. Ignored because her wishes and anticipation outweigh their sting. But while songs are floating in the wind, the clock keeps ticking. People in the cafe talk about the secessionists and the newest plays in the same breath. No one cares about the rumors trafficked in the newspapers. They're only concerned with what is in front of their eyes. Still, the good doctor comes to share the pain of that melancholy lady, and then next to the cafe, to encourage the lower class to persevere. She says that every man is entitled to the same rights. She'll draw a circle round them all like the ring road, or the round mirrors in her clinic. The good times will come again, so say the coffee sippers. But, you know, in the end, they'll be like the undissolved sugar at the bottom of the cup. My dear, your coffee is getting cold. Isolde von Tittersdorf. I'm looking for Isolde von Tittersdorf. Looking for Assault von Dedersdorf. Ja. 
You sure this will work? No time to complain, Doctor. You should be very grateful that I'm helping you. This is an invisibility cloak from Bohemia. It took the hair of two witches to make one. No one will see you, even if you are right under their noses. <sighs> okay. Where did the feathers come from? Holy... It's losing feathers! I should have known these arcane devices were unreliable. Oh, I'm so close. Hey, wait! Isn't that the wanted criminal Kakanya? The traitor! Disturbing the peace, inciting treason, and bewitching citizens with arcane skills? How dare she infiltrate the government! Halt! You're under arrest! That was quick. Dental checker. Another jar? Are you a rational member? Thank you for your cooperation. Let's get it over quick! than the Foundation's kids. Doctor! You finally come! I've been waiting for you. For so long, was your journey here safe? How have you been? It's old. What is going on? What have you and Heinrich done? Why did you say that at the exhibition? Who were those people helping me on my way here? What's with the golems, the secret tunnels, and that turmoil? You vanished from the exhibition. And now the Circle is considered a treasonous organization, and our members are now wanted. Newspapers are criticizing us. The New Free Press called us treasonous and naive, like a teenage runaway. And now the Circle has become subversives, and I'm wanted. 
They even thought the chaos and subsequent turmoil were planned by me. This... this is not why I founded it. And now you invite me here, claiming to have found the way to realize my dream. You're confusing me. Are you still the Isolt I know? You... Please, listen to me, Doctor. I've been meaning to tell you from the beginning. But Heinrich stopped me and told me the exhibition was a better time. He said your dream is a dream for everyone. And that's why we should announce it in front of everyone. I should apologize. I did not see this coming. I have discredited you and you have every reason to hate me. But worry not, Doctor. I give you my word. Soon you won't have to worry about anything. These people don't understand your dream, and they won't become your allies. But we... we are different. We? The mister who sent me your message. The people showing me the way all over unfamiliar faces. I've never met any of them before. Who are they? No, who are you? What is your purpose? <laughs> doctor, it doesn't matter, Doctor. What matters is that we share the same dream with you. We long for the same paradise as you do. That glorious kingdom of freedom. Isolde, are you seeing illusions again? No, Doctor. I'm completely cured. You healed me. And now, it's my turn to treat the world with you. Let's scrape the paint off the top, reveal its true colors and reshape it. Until it is transformed into a perfect world, a perfect society. Because we are the chosen ones. You... You plan the riots in Leopoldstadt, right? And the march demanding the transformation of society. Isolt, I don't know what they said to threaten you, but you can't stay with them. They're not treating you. You're committing a crime. But I did exactly what you told me to do, Doctor. Me? Ist was du, der mir gesagt hat, mich nicht länger zu unterdrücken. Wait, 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 wait. What does that say? Told me to release inhibitions and release my inner passion. Be sincere and free. Oh god, I just noticed the mask. Es was du, die mir gesagt hat, dass unsere Gesellschaft eine Operation braucht und dass wir Agnisten einen neuen Lebensstil brauchen. You told me society is sick, the world needs a surgery, and the arcanist needs a new life of their own. Is das nicht auch dein Traum? Ich möchte dir nur die Wahrheit der Welt geben. Ich möchte dir nur deinen Traum give that shit zurückgeben. To world. I want to give your dreams back.
Oh, I'm gonna let really. Sorry, doesn't matter. Oh, what's happening? Oh my god, 45. Burns his letters, Marcus. Destroys them in accordance with the field mission manual article 341, so that no one else can read them. Okay, Madam Hoffman, but shouldn't we reply to these messages from the field squad? Don't bother. The secret letters are sent to all active investigators above rank 4. The squad is like the watchers of the critical points. They collect and record every event different to the ones in history and report to the Foundation. These incidents will be the index for evaluating the stability of the current era. In other words, the more reports they send, the more unstable the era is. This keeps every field investigator up to date on the situation so they can plan their next move. In the past, we have seen too many tragedies caused by a lack of information. But now, our own task is more urgent. The Circle publicly committed treason. Isold and Heinrich disappeared. Kakania became wanted. The Leopoldstadt riots and the march of the lower-class Arcanists may be directly related to them. Heinrich and Isolde's speech is like the spark that ignited the powder keg that is Vienna. The riots have been going on for days. But why was Miss Kakania wanted? She didn't act out of line in the exhibition and seemed totally unaware of the speech. All she had was the book which didn't belong to this era. Clearly, Heinrich didn't tell her a thing. It is because she is the known founder of the Circle, and a middle class with no background. This is good news for us, Marcus. We can start with Kakanya. They did protect her from being wanted, which means she has not been fully assimilated into this elite group of nobles. How typical of Manus Vindicte. We need to find her fast. Luckily, the spider tail you put on her is reacting. Dirty, disgusting officials! We're a kingdom of freedom! Uh, for a kingdom of freedom? Shoot, they're attacking the Foundation branch? Focus on what's important, Marcus. Someone summoned a bunch of critters on Kärtnerstrasse. They're coming this way! Austria is like uh, I'm pretty sure like half uh, speak uh, Italian speaking and German speaking that's both of the language in that country correct me if I'm wrong so many people will confuse that she's uh, Italian or even German It could be 
found. Are you irrational numbers? Intersect and divide. Relax. The mage flicker. The final demonstration. Huh. Yeah, VN is more on the German side. A lot of the locations are like in German. Like the name of the ring road is in German. Is, an, is a nook <laughs> when she has like the wine stacks she's just a nook something's wrong with this mist maybe the evaporation of the arcane potion <laughs> devil shoestring judging by the smell for better diffusivity. Marcus, <coughs> cover your mouth and nose if it enters the foundation's branch when it clears up. Marcus, are you okay? Did the mist get you? No. Madam Hoffman, the terrorists and the people in the march, what they shouted for a kingdom of freedom. That's, that's what Miss Dittersdorf said in the exhibit, and she quoted that from Dr. Kakanya. And, and it was me. I told that to Dr. Kakanya. I told her about the island. I told her it's a place of freedom for arcanists. So, so I'm the one who caused this turmoil. I told them the secret of the Golden Isle and caused the chain reaction. I didn't listen to you. I'm too reckless, I lack rational thinking, I'm unstable and out of control, and the one thing I can control, my arcane skill, didn't help at all. You vouched for me and appointed me to the field mission from the headquarters, but I... Maybe it is like what you said. Maybe you did play a role in this era, causing a butterfly effect in history. But trying to be responsible for everything beyond one's capability is a symbol of irrational hubris. <sighs> First of all, creating chaos in this chaotic time is more than easy. Just look at all the frequent ethnic conflicts, assassinations and espionage. If not the circle and is old, the manners will find themselves a different flashpoint. You never know how the leaked information will simmer. Its subsequent spread is uncontrollable, and remorse would be useless. The thing is, 
everyone has their own ideas about that island. Your words just deepen the expectations. As for your self-assessment, we have all heard it. Humans are more rational and arcanists are more emotional. They are sensitive to the darkness in the world so they can easily become absorbed in their own emotions and ignore reality. But if we put a human child in the position of an arcanist, who always takes on the world because of his uniqueness, who is never understood for his talents, maybe he too will become impulsive, sensitive, immature and unstable. And that's why it sometimes dawns on me that if we put an arcanist child in the position of a human being who receives enough love, education, and positive feedback, these instabilities might be controllable, at least enough to keep them from hurting themselves or others. Madam Hoffman? I took you away from the storm in 1912. It has been a long time after that, so I know how precious it must be for you to return to 1914. And your urge to complete the mission and go back to Romania. You are not an impulsive person, Marcus. You're just growing up. And you do need to grow. As for appointing you, it was by my own will. Because the age of humans has come to an end. The age of humans is ending? If the errors keep on regressing, human technologies would fail to accumulate. Meanwhile, arcane skills that depend largely on the individual's potential will shine. In this war of reversals, futures and time, it is you who will survive, not us. And that's why sooner or later, you'll have to go at it alone. This is the most rational assessment I can make for the continuation of civilization. Rational. But I've been doing my best to be rational as well. Even though I keep reading and practicing information analysis, I can't make a choice. What if I make a wrong choice? What if there's no right answer? What if I never told Kakanya about... Enough. You're getting carried away. There is nothing mysterious about rationality. It simply guides us out of confusion and straight to the essence of things. The... Essence? The reason why we're doing a job here is simple, Marcus. Arcanists keep going to the menace. It's because they can promise the salvation while we can't. Therefore, decoding their immunity ritual against the storm is top priority. If we can't, being isolated on a small piece of land, we're bound to meet our end in this temporal catastrophe. We're not the only investigators sent by the headquarters. So our mission is to collect every clue left by the Manus and send them back to Laplace. Everything else is secondary. Madam Hoffman, besides finding Miss Kakanya, there may be another way. That painting, the last work of Theophil, the Salvation, something's off with it. When I read it in the exhibition, I felt a familiar afflatus. It was concealed in a clever way, but I noticed the traces of concealment. Manus's arcane skill. But I couldn't read anything more from it. If we can persuade Miss Kakanya to help us with her arcane skill... Is her arcane skill similar to yours? 
No, quite different. I fought her once. I feel that under certain conditions, our arcane skills might be complementary. Well done, Marcus. This is something only you can do. The government has a painting now. The field agent squad can retrieve it for us. The fog has cleared. Let's go. Now we need to find Kakanya. We're getting there. Darling, did you hear that? The sound of a match scraping against the box, igniting in a dark, silent alley? And then... Boom! War, like an unstoppable train, hurtles down the track with its passengers vanishing in the thick, black smoke. In the train, the elderly tremble in the corner, and the infants babble dreaming. Oh, but the only young man aboard is filling coal into the furnace. Meanwhile, another train is hurtling down the same track, puffing the same black smoke. Alas, the two trains are destined to collide in a war to end all wars. Were the passengers on the train? Pay close attention. You'll see the banner reaching out above their train and the blood stains on it. Next, let's turn to where the train departed to find the source of everything. Rewind the clock to before the whistle blew, before the furnace ignited. And then, child, look somewhere far from here. In the Schönbrunn Palace, where the fine gentlemen of Austria-Hungary eagerly plan the extension of their national borders. But the Habsburgs value their honor so much that first they must find themselves some excuse to cross that border. Yet in another land, a humiliated people were gathering in secret. Their blood as hot as fire, ready to burn anyone and anywhere it was splattered. Fate drove an open-topped car there, carrying an ill-fated couple. Their presence, a crushing indignity that could not be endured. An avenging bullet was sent to them as a gift from a luck-struck Patriot. In a moment, each party was granted their long-sought excuse. Boots had their excuse to kick down their doors, and guns their excuse to fire. A yearning furnace at last had its reason to burn, to steam toward its final destination. My dear, it's not a story of hatred or anger. The footprints were laid down before you ever stepped forward into them. Fresh-faced boys traded books and toys for rifles, and poets were buried in trenches, musicians deafened by explosions and the howls of death. But those war starters? Those who doodled their ambitions on maps while supping their dessert, would lose nothing in their gamble. The dew-fed river would still flow, and the facades of their great palaces would never be chipped or rocked by the guns they set off. Nothing stains their hands, save the cream from their cakes. How do we stop this? Perhaps... <sighs> we wait. Wait for a pouring rain to douse the fires. A flood, 
that might sweep the armies, wagered like betting chips from their maps. Then, perhaps, that car will turn and the fated dead will come back to life. But you know that will not be how the story ends. What are you talking about? The storm? The war? I don't understand. If that's true, then the world we are living in, the era, and the people, everything will be destroyed in the near future. Only the Chosen Ones will survive the storm. What about the others? Millions out there have never even heard of the storm. Yes, only the Chosen Ones will survive the storm. This is a trial, Doctor. A trial? Then who started it? Who decided the standard? You? Or the so-called Guiding One? God? Or the Supreme Existence? Who gave them the power to decide the fate of others? Who allows such absurdities to happen? What is the past with the right order? If time just keeps going backwards, when and where will it stop? To a time when man did not exist? What to a time before civilization? Then why did we write poems, pursue art, and develop civilization? Why did we try so hard to make progress? What was the point of it all? I don't understand, Doctor. Why are you so concerned about the others? Huh? When we reach the new world, we can fully realize your dream. We will create a kingdom of freedom for everyone. As for the embers of the old world, they are like a tumor that should be removed. I care about them. What? Tumors that should be removed? Look at this painting. How chaotic it is. Look at the repression in the darkness. Look at the beasts in the people's hearts. And the maggots under the golden surface. I listen to them as they listen to me. The shadowy echoes inside the skulls. The cacophonies of chaotic colors. The smudges on the canvas of rationality. And the filth in front of magnificent boulevards. They were excised, suppressed, the top paint scraped off and replaced with an empty, monotonous white. Yet, in the end, they will be released to the fullest, to everything. Downstairs, is that an explosion? You, you... Theophil has left. 
He shone like a star in the end, just as he wished. But the rest of them, with their rocks and shattered windows, are still left to struggle. If only I could help them, just like how I helped Teofil. What do you mean you helped Teofil? <laughs> you didn't hear him. <laughs> you were not there. He ran at me, stuttering my name. Every inch of his skin was ravaged by flame. So much pain. <laughs> so much spectacle. I need to get water! But he was already on fire. And the only water I found was in his skull and veins. You... You shot Teofil on purpose? So this is the truth you had repressed? You... You were right, Doctor. Lifting your repression is the first step to liberation. I am fully cured. Look at me. Did I do a good job? <laughs> Come with me, Doctor. I am inviting you just like how you invited me. Let's heal the world and save it together. Is that Miss Kikanya? Relax, people. Miss Kikanya is on our side. She's helped us a lot. Ilich? What are you doing? A gentleman from America said we could do something big here. So I gathered everyone. We will march down the Kärtnerstrasse to the Vienna branch of the Foundation. Our slogan will be, Equal Rights and Freedom for Arcanists. How American is that? He seems to be quite a big shot with wads of cash in his pocket and reliable connections in the government. He said we no longer have to worry about the residence permit and the Arcanum license after this job. No longer. Aren't you coming with us, miss? This kind of activity is your favorite, isn't it? Hey, where are you going? Kanya, you should be tried and punished. Why? You gave your friends hope, prescribed them treatment, and vowed to stand by their side. But now you're silent and turning away. This is a betrayal. You betrayed your patient. You ran away from your kind. 
You are unfit to be a psychiatrist. You are not worthy to be a human being. What am I supposed to do then? My patient. I never figured out her true thoughts and feelings. And my fellow kinfolk, they were innocent and unaware of the manipulations of the influential. Even I was in confusion. How could I tell them the truth that I didn't know? How am I supposed to face the overwhelming madness and destruction on my own? So you're just someone who happens to stumble upon the truth? A bystander who happens to be watching from the shore. This is why you are a disgrace. It's a sin to just stand by and watch. It's a sin to promise salvation, but fail to bring them ashore. It's an even greater sin to ignore this tragedy and turn away. Yes, I admit. I'm a hypocrite. I used to be so eager to help my friends, but when they really needed me, I turned my back on them. I told her to release her repressions, but when she actually did, I couldn't face the destructive consequences. I propagated my dream with great enthusiasm, hoping all my kiss could live in a free world. But if it's realized in this way, it's the first nightmare imaginable for everyone. I said I would start the secession of the Arcanists, but what is the essence of this movement? A rebirth? Or a complete betrayal. I'm just like my father, mother and brother, who tried to shed the label of arcanist selling small wares as soon as they climbed up the social ladder. I am lost. So please, tell me, what should I do? <laughs> you already know, don't you? Wer wird im Regen verschwinden? Wem wird das ewige Glück gewährt? Die Gnade von oben und diese Leere, das Aufhören der Existenz. Curtain of rain will be lost. Who will obtain eternal happiness, the supreme gift, the empty, the nothingness that no longer exists. The nothingness that no longer exists. Miss Kakania! You are fine. Thank goodness. I've been trying so hard to find you. I have something important to tell you. Catastrophe is about to sweep across the globe. But there are still things we can do. If it goes smoothly, perhaps we can save plenty of lives.
Your request has been heard. Where can we? The music will speak. Get out of here! A mice pod. Mr. with connection isn't <laughs> forgot his name, forget me. <laughs> you forgot forget me <laughs> that's I'm losing my patience. Three, two, one, down. An unconventional choice. Time waits for no one, even for a great thing. Gertian's bird sounds a circle to hear. I remember it's called. Seventeen. The field agent squad cannot make it this time. They have a more urgent mission. But the Vienna branch already requested support from the army, even though we haven't told them what is happening. They are irritated by the blatant attack. We better use the power of the era now. Only one question remains. Is the source of this intel reliable, Marcus? Are Isolde and Heinrich really playing in the premiere of Tosca? Yes, it may sound a bit absurd, but that is Miss Kakanya's inference. It is you who asked for cooperation. I've done what I can and told you everything I know. Unless the show is cancelled, Isolde will show up. She is a perfectionist when it comes to her work. If she shows up, so will Heinrich. Neither of them is under bounty, and the upper class loves her performance, so it's not hard for them to guarantee a show, even in these troubled times. I know her well. She will be there. If I know her as well as I think I do. Madam Hoffman, what mission is the field agent squad dealing with? Assassinations. There has been an outbreak in the Empire over the past three days. They are sent to guard the important people. We're out of manpower right now, so don't expect any backup. But don't worry. We don't need to capture or defeat the Manus. Just focus on the original ritual. Put your own safety first. Understand, Marcus? Huh. The audience is bigger than the tickets sold. I counted the seats in the balcony and the gallery. There are still too many people in the main hall. Are they all staff of the Vienna branch? No. This could be the doing of Manus Vindicte. <laughs> mm. 
What are you laughing at? That's you, Miss Foundation. You have no idea where you are. This is Vienna, the city of music. And this is Isolde and Tosca. People are crazy about them. I bet they would even stand outside the railings if standing tickets were sold. <laughs> and when it reaches Act 3, they would fling themselves over the edge, crying, Oh, Scapia, avanti addio! Don't get what you're saying, but it sounds even worse than Manus Vindicte. I... I collected information about this opera. What did you just say? Uh, this one? <laughs> and when it reaches Act 3, they would fling themselves over the edge, crying, Oh, Scapia, avanti addio! What? Third act. They jump off the city wall like Tosca shouting before what? God? Alright. Continue. Rome, 1800s. Painter Mario Cavaradossi and singer Tosca are two lovers. Cavaradossi has been arrested for helping the fugitive Cesare Angelotti, former consul to the Roman Republic. To save her lover, Tosca turns to Scarpia, the chief of police. Scarpia has covered Tosca for a long time. So he proposes that Cavaradossi will be freed if Tosca gives herself to him. Tosca submits to him, but when he tries to embrace her, Tosca saps him in the heart with a dagger. Oh, for heaven's sake, how did you make that sound so boring? I don't think you should read this script ahead of time. It takes away all the surprises. Just let the singer guide you, and immerse yourself in this world. Isolde is very good in guiding the audience. She's the best there is. As a seancer, her incredible arcane skills allow her to act like the characters themselves on stage. She can do all kinds of voices, even those that seem physically impossible. When she does this, she becomes a completely different person, taking us to a world beyond reality. It'll feel like witnessing a miracle firsthand. Uh. <sighs> Sorry, I got a little excited. So. This is how much I looked forward to this opera. I'm sorry. I know you still see her as a friend. No. I'm just thinking. I thought I knew my friends and my kin. But really, I had no idea of what they were truly thinking. Even with this mirror, and all the psychological series. I am like Pandora who opens a box without knowing what was inside. Was it hope? Or destruction? That sounds... dark. But I also think... Perhaps we can never truly understand one another. But things won't get any better if I give up because of it. I cannot turn my back on this. Don't worry about me, Miss Marcus. Now that I am here, I will fulfill my promise. I will stop her. As for the doomsday you talked about, I don't know what I can do about it, to be honest. All I know is... If I don't stop her today, every day of my life will feel like doomsday. No matter what happens from here, the show has begun. <gasps> P 
Please, enjoy. Even if the world ends tomorrow, we still have a show to enjoy. Are they gonna perform it? like at the exhibition Marcus keep an eye on Isolde I'll go find Heinrich the branch staff will take action as soon as she comes off the stage I'll talk to you on the intercom in the story has become reality why is the show still on why why isn't the audience reacting what about the branch stuff madam hoffman can you hear me darn it what is going on It really is, Mr. Carl. Why? Why? 
Why is no one... Are you all mad? A man has been killed, don't you see? Stop the show! You were too kind-hearted. I've been trying to clear your name. Scarpia proposed an unfair deal. He wanted me as his mistress. But now he's dead, at last. The whole of Rome was overshadowed by his power. What are you talking about, Isolde? That's not what the story is like. Run away with me, Cavaradossi. I have the safer conduct. We will go to the sacred kingdom of happiness and freedom, where no one knows us. Assassinated. Archduke Franz assassinated. All these assassinations at the same time? What it, it crashed. The story is so fire that it crashed. <laughs> the game crashed. <laughs> There's a download. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, <laughs> what the hell is going on? <laughs> at least that was it crashed at the end of the chapter of the stage. The game was assassinated, yeah. <laughs> That's why it shouldn't take so long. Oh my god, CN server, come on. I don't know what that is on the... I didn't manage to read it. <laughs> yeah, Tosca, the third act of Tosca is where the patch name was based off. Yeah, there's an update. It's a small one. Thankfully, it's not that long. It 
Isolde's performance is so fire that it crashed the game. Oh, I'm just gonna skip this we already pretty much. This is the jet, right? I'm just gonna check a little bit. If it starts with the Yeah. Yeah, no, you can skip this. You can skip that. Already. Oh my god, it's raining. <laughs> the, it's raining now. Oh no. excuse myself i think this is becoming like my favorite chapter <laughs> like i didn't even think about that when i'm playing chapter five but like so it's i don't think it's like recency bias because if i did it, then i would think about that for chapter five as well Like chapter 4 was my favorite one because it's just like so good let's see we're like nearing the end clashing tides their faces are distorting like those paintings is this also some kind of Mass hysteria or anyone seen my glasses? Could you pass them to me? Oh, they've grown on my eyes. Don't mind me. Gesto e il bacio de Tosca. Come, friends, Keith and Keen, take your daggers and get up there. We will all kill our own Scarpia! Those so-called upper-class people don't deserve the best seats! Visitate! Visite more! Spend. I can almost feel the blood splashing on my face! There's no out. This is art. The way in which reality replays with fantasy. I've never seen a show like this before. Zilla, Wolf, what happened? Have you got blood on your face or two? Is this part of the show or... Uh... <sighs> Killing each other in a frenzy. Is no one noticing this? <laughs> Madam Hoffman, I have an emergency here. I. No, I can't hear anything. The crowd won't let me leave. I need to make way myself.
I do not know if this is like the souls doing or like it's actually the storm syndrome for this like era because remember like on the great depression like they were eating like money they're eating like gold and for this era like they're just killing each other <laughs> which if the cause is really world war one it's not too far off oh my god i'm dying So good. No Coming. Another jar? Thank you for your cooperation. I'll fill the cup for you. Ah! Victory. Okay. But what does it mean to us? I mean. Be quiet! Go to hell, you terrorists! I need to... I need to disperse them! At least open up the exit! Marcus, what are you doing? I said evacuate! People are dying. It is our duty to... I just got a message from the headquarters. The timekeeper has issued a 24-hour storm warning. What? The Manus has carried out several assassinations on the same day. The instability of this era has reached the critical point. Which means the storm is coming. It was me who leaked out the details of the island! It was me! Get a hold of yourself, Marcus. This is a storm of time. Compared to the chaos it causes, you and I mean nothing more than a pebble. It happened many times before you did anything, and it will happen countless times more. The errors in history will disappear again and again, and so will the people. The situation can't get any worse. The only thing we can do now is to find the ritual that grants immunity to the storm. It's the only way to save more lives. 
The Foundation has issued the evacuation notice. All staff must return to the headquarters before the storm arrives. The closest evacuation point is Vienna Central Station. They will pick us up there in two hours. Two hours? It takes less than two hours to get... I know. There are still things we can do before the storm truly arrives. But the enemies are probably much stronger than we are, and there will be no backup for us. He once told me what really scared you was not a threat to your life, but the possibility of dying ignorant. I think... I understand what you mean now. I don't want that either. I don't want to go back to the headquarters without doing anything at all. <laughs> well said, Marcus. Let's go. Find Heinrich and Isolde. They might know the ritual or have the clues we need. We can still catch the last train if everything goes smoothly. Kakanya is not with you? Miss Kakanya ran up to the stage. She and his old... Heinrich has enchanted all the props. There must be a hidden entrance to the secret chamber. I am sure. Miss Kakanya and Isolde are still in this theater. Come here! You piece of sh- uh, There are traps under the floor. Twenty war and peace. I can't read that fast, so a little bit better. This is gonna be here. It's here. I'm gonna do it. What is it that you want, Isolde? Let me read this. like the 
full version of the quotes in like quotation that like under the rain curtain who will be lost yesterday there's the like a uh, giant ring of light nice parliament light dusk when history fades away leaving earth waiting for the sky to sink it's like the first we we learned that a snippet of this poem before yesterday turns tomorrow tomorrow becomes yesterday we will be obtain eternal happiness the supreme gift the nothingness that no longer exists wait is that what poem is that <laughs> It's a poem. Uh, giant ring of. I'm just gonna repeat it. I'm gonna repeat it. Uh, this line. Giant ring of life mattered all. M mattered from all. Mattered. This is hard. It's a poem. And circled and pronounced the sentence and this one this one we already heard dusk when see history fades away and they already said like this one to continue I the foundation was exaggerating the truth but you you are... i wonder if are you mad doctor because i killed mr carl I wonder if that poem is based on something. I thought it maybe. would make you happy. Happy? Why would I be happy? Because he was a boastful man. His ideas were at odds with yours, and he contributed to the repression of this era. A bureaucrat you hate the most. He treated us like stains on the wall to be covered up in shame. And he was the kind of man who'd pocket the gold foil whenever he found any. Society is dying because of these hypocrites. Don't you think we should have the surgery and remove them? I didn't know... I didn't know you would interpret my words this way. I deeply regret ever telling you that. What? Why? Why are you being so cruel to me? It was you who said that everyone was sick and dying, even though they pretended to be fine. Yet, the source of the sickness lay not in ourselves, but in the twisted era we lived in. A radical surgery is the only way to remove this ugly tumor. And it was also you who told me to stop repressing and to embrace my desires. We should restore the world to what it was like. A kingdom of freedom where everyone will be happy. Are these not your words? Or have I misunderstood them? Why won't you look at me? Have I made such a big mistake that you don't want to see me again? No, no, no. Please answer me. I'm begging you. You are my only friend and the one I cherish most in the whole world. Doctor, what on earth have I done wrong? Why won't you forgive me? Is it because I'm too stupid to understand your words? Or... Because I'm also sick with the incurable tumor. If that's the case, please help me. Hold my hands, touch my face, hug me, and talk to me heart to heart like you used to. Doctor! Doctor! Ich habe mich in diesem Traum von dir gesehen, wie in einen Spiegel schauend. Es war Abend, als wir dieses Gespräch hatten. 
Es war das erste Mal in meinem Leben, dass ich die Sonne gesehen habe. Ich habe mich in diesem Traum von dir gesehen, wie in einen Spiegel schauend. My mic is not off. Fun. I reflect myself in your dream like a mirror, like staring into a mirror. In the evening, I was talking to you. I saw the sun for the first time. Dein Traum hat mein leeres Leben mit Bedeutung gefüllt. Du hast mich davor bewahrt, nur ein verfluchtes Gefäß zu sein. It is your dream that fills my empty life and makes me feel like I no longer con and no longer have a curse. Das war ein wunderschöner Traum. Beautiful. So schön, dass ich vergessen habe, wie hässlich ich bin, während ich ihn betrachtete. It was so beautiful when I stared at it, that I forgot my own ugliness. Ich versuche nur, einen Traum zu verwirklichen. I just want to give you your ideals. Is das falsch von mir? Am I wrong? I never thought you would commit a crime over my words. Crime? You mean what I'm doing right now? You don't like it. The Foundation knows all the truths. Yet they won't tell us anything. That's why we have to release everything they repress. The news, the hysteria, the riots, the chaos. That's what Manus Vindicte told me. Is this not like your dream? Did I misunderstand? What? What in the world did they tell you? <laughs> they told me the method of salvation, Doctor. They gave me the opportunity to save your loved ones. The world and your dream. Welcome, Angelotti and unknown lady from the Foundation. Welcome to the small beginning of our new world. Oh, sleeping bullets from Laplace. You almost hit me, miss. <laughs> I can't let you through, though. Not now. The leading actress is busy. The curtain has been raised, ladies, and the show is about to begin. Why not open your hearts before the lights come on? Let's sit down and have a civilized conversation. Ooh! There is no need to negotiate with a terrorist. You will have a chance to talk to our specialist after I take you to the headquarters. A terrorist? You wound me. 
Is it because I wear the mask of menace? Because I revealed the truth you've been hiding? Or because we accelerated the storm and made this error end earlier than expected? Let me help you, Madam Hoffman. My Angelotti! Why are you standing with the enemy? You're supposed to be one of us. Angelotti? Is that me? I am your salvation from the real terrorists of the world. Salvation? Angelotti with a full case of books. Tell me, of all the books you have read and all the documents you have worked with, did any of them mention the catastrophe that suddenly broke out in the summer of 1914? The scourge of the 20th century? The real history? You have such a kind heart, Doctor. Yet you don't know the truth. How are you going to bear the pain when you do? Theophil set himself on fire. Ben hung himself to death. Emmanuel laid himself on the railroad tracks. Are these suicide cases in Vienna? They all came into contact with the menace? <laughs> I can see them. I can hear them. The ghosts of future history haunting the city from above. Heads full of holes. Heads covered in shrapnel. Empty stomachs. Even the ghosts of little children. I can see them all. Cities bombed to the ground, and trains full of people headed straight for death. It is coming. It is coming. By then, the guts hanging from trees will be more vibrant than spring flowers. There will be bullets, helmets, scores. <laughs> How I wish it were a farce. A farce that claimed the lives of more than 10 million people. A farce that dozens of leaders decided to take part in. Ben, a dear friend of mine. He played the best Fantasia in A minor ever but came back from the battlefield missing an arm and a leg. And Emmanuel. His hands were born to write poetry, but he was sent to the front and dug trenches until he died of disease. Our hands are meant to hold paintbrushes, play pianos, and write stories. But they end up in gunfire because you narrow-minded hypocrites keep inciting them to violence. We've already suffered for our gifts. Now we have to watch our talented friends sacrifice themselves for man's childish tantrums. Ladies, you know all of this, yet you call us Terrorists?
मैं तुम हाफ मैन The real terrorists are you, humans. Sie haben diesen Krieg begonnen. is off again the text said it was you who started that war Fortunately, the Guiding One has heard our cries and promised us salvation. The storm will put a stop to this frenetic melody before all of the good, artistic, heartfelt things in life are destroyed before our eyes. It will wash away the unwanted, the unimportant. The creators of this chaos will be severely punished. It's still a little early for what Mr. Forget-Me-Not has planned, but the actors and actresses are in place. Don't worry, Miss Angelotti. We won't leave anyone behind, nor will we leave any enemy spared. I will eliminate the obstacles for you and help you better understand yourself. What? What are you talking about? The sifting has begun, ladies. Enjoy. The potion specially made by Mr. Forget-Me-Not. A gift from the Picrasma tree. For those who have Arcanist blood, it will undoubtedly enhance their powers, both physically and mentally. But for the powerless, mixed blood humans, it is lethal poison. People sometimes forget how different humans and arcanists are, don't they? The mixed bloods have become the majority of society. Those with less than one-fourth arcanist blood, some with even less, have blended in amongst the humans because they don't have any arcane power. And so they are seen as humans, both by the public and by themselves. And now the punishment for betraying your own kind. You should have stood with us, but instead you sided with the enemy and watched your own kin suffer. The blood that you have ignored and forsaken will awaken, explode, and tear you apart from within. Uh, I'm fine. I'm just a bit... I can still stand. Sadly, you won't be fine for long. Mr. Forget-Me-Not is one of the best potion makers. The formula is carefully designed to prolong your suffering until sweet death finally spreads its wings over you. But resent not. Your pain is fleeting compared to what my people were made to endure. As for you, Miss Angelotti, a choice lies before you. Me? You have been lied to. Humans have whispered lies through their petty, made-up history. There has been genocide, the lengthy, vicious kind, 
under the banner of high-minded reason. They tried to split the world in two, so that the progressives cannot be stopped by the non-progressives, so that the irrational cannot speak against the rational. When they do, death and destruction follow. You're one of us, an arcanish child abandoned at an orphanage. You must have heard your heart pounding like a knock on the door. It's the sound of a long-lost soul coming home. It calls to you to rid your shackles of reason, to expose the lies of history, to embrace your primal passions and unleash the powers of your gift. You should be one of us, as you always should have been. Marcus, this is the missing part of history that they didn't let you go through. Hoffman kept everything from you, didn't she? She's a liar! You're here because you want to find the truth. You don't have to work for a human institution! Pick it up. Drive it into your mentor's heart. Show us your resolve. An opportunity has arisen. Take it. A chance to learn who you really are. Where you came from and why you were abandoned. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Marcus. <laughs> Very good, Angelotti. Before the High One of Midnight sheds merciful tears and washes away the sins of man, pass the test and join us. And we will take you through the storm back to our era. Our era? But my era has already come. 1914. The year you once wiped out with the storm is my era! Huh? I waited in the abandoned lighthouse of that island. I waited in the marble house of the foundation, watching the time go back to 1966, to 1929, and finally, back here. You say this is salvation, but you're just replacing one annihilation with another. The Foundation wants to stop the destruction, but you're speeding it up. You don't care about this era, nor the people living in it. You abandon them. You hide in your empty kingdom, in, in your garden that doesn't yet exist with your... <laughs> with your art, your, your poems, and your pianos. <laughs> and me... I just wanted to go home for a visit. Why would you take away even that? Marcus, don't lose control of yourself. Speed it fast. Mm. 
と思うんですけどgive me a channel So, a lot of defense. Yeah, because my characters are not dealing as much damage as they used to. Or it's just like a higher level. I'll fill the cup for you. Ah! 
Let's see. That's not a crit, but like, that's still very low. When she used to like, on average, without buffs. I remember it's called lending a hand. But it's a mini boss to so, like, or get me not in chapter two. So it's. Someone is calling. calling me. Leave here with me, Doctor. Let the rain wash away the old world, so we can build your dream in a new one. I thought we were on the same side of liberating our oppression, giving freedom to the Arcanists. I never thought that you would take people's lives, Isolt. Is this why you hesitate? Because I killed a person who shouldn't be killed? A person from the Foundation? After you befriended the young lady? Is it because you made peace with the Foundation? And yet, I became associated with Magnus Vindicte? I see now. I understand, Doctor. I will correct my mistakes. Isolde? I killed a man of the Foundation. Thus, you thought I was imposing Manus Vindicte's cause over yours. It displeased you, am I right? Then I shall prove myself to you. No, no, no. <laughs> I will take Heinrich's life. For that, yes, we yes, yes. Please come with me and witness my commitment, Doctor. <gasps> what? What did you say? You're going to kill who? I'm going to kill Miss Angelotti. If you still don't see the big picture after returning to your true self, you are not one of us. Enjoy the sifting before the storm. Ah, Isolde, you're just in time. These two are hopeless. Goodbye, Heinrich. She's to lead again. Finished rage. <clears throat> Is the next battle stage? Oh, the next battle stage would be the final boss.
Heinrich must be taken to the headquarters. He has vital information. The mission has failed. There will be no backup. The storm countdown has begun. Everyone will be called back to the headquarters. This is the night storm. How much longer will we have to wait if we miss this opportunity? Must leave at once. Marcus will have the storm syndrome if she stays here. She is losing herself. Gunshot. Isolt. Kanya. Why are they here? Ah. Koska. You are turning your dagger at me. Me. The one who showed you the way to salvation. Me. The one who brought you all to the Guiding One. I even pleaded with Forget-Me-Not to keep a spot for Gakania. For your sake. How could you do this to me? Doctor, why are you trying to stop me? You still think of me as a doctor? I can't let you do any more killing. Miss Marcus, can you get on your feet? I'll slow them down. Get Madame Hoffman to safety. Heinrich, you seem to be in pain. It's all right. Soon you'll be freed from the pain. You're out of your mind, Hoffman. Don't. There must be a better way. But how long do we have to wait for another opportunity like this? You think you can still make it back to the headquarters? You think there will be a second chance for you? Even if we fail, Marcus will be safe. The situation has changed. Kanya's decision is the key to victory. I can't let the clues end here. This is the Vice's decision. Heinrich was still alive. <laughs> he, he's gone. I see. I should have been faster. You must take Kanya and leave. She can protect you from his old. She won't side with manners from what I see. Give him my place in the storm shelter. Her arcane powers will be useful to us. So the both of you can evacuate safely. Did, did you plan this all along? Try, Marcus. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. I've taken back my senses before I die. I'm glad. The pain will cease. To die with my sanity 
and rationality still intact. <laughs> it has been an honor. No! Kakanya, can you give her first aid and take her to the station? You'll meet the Foundation there. They'll have better equipment. They'll know what to do. Heinrich is dead, but there must still be clues on him. This isn't over yet. I have to finish the mission. Marcus. Takes us. The number of that orphanage in Romania. I've had it with me for a while now, but... Please save your strength, madam. This isn't what we need to worry about. We don't have anything else to worry about. The mission is over, silly child. Bring home before the storm comes. The future is yours. No, no! There must be something I can do! Everything is a book. Everything can be read. The most immediate threat to her life is that potion, devil shoestring, belladonna, narcissus, the at the roots, and the fruits and roots of the pecrasma tree. <laughs> it's the formula made by forget me not. The pecrasma extract makes up more than 50% of the potion. This is very different from Laplace's formula. Arcanus potions seem to be a concoction of instincts and inspiration. Uh, is there nothing else I can do? The Picrasma extract is not a poison in itself, just that humans cannot... Uh, there must be a way, madam! Please! She's in pain! Don't give up. Keep breathing. I will find a way. Marcus. Every book has an end, Marcus. There's nothing more on a finished page, no matter how reluctant you are to flip that page and get to the end. You will move on to a new chapter. Forgive no, 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 me. No, no, don't turn the page! Stop here! Stop now, please! For all the pain I have to put on you. She's gone. <laughs> she was an incredible woman. Her suffering ends here. Doctor, have you decided? I must leave. But I will wait for your answer.
I'm shaking, oh my god. <laughs> uh. Let's continue. <laughs> Madam Hoffman was calm till the end. Why? Was she not afraid? No. I just read her fear through her trembling fingers. But she would not show it. She knew it would have frightened me. Repeat. This is a 24 hour countdown to the storm. All personnel must return to the headquarters. Repeat. This is the 24-hour countdown to the storm. Hoffman, this is Semmelweis. You must leave now. Last call. You know we won't wait if you miss it. The storm is coming, Doctor. Come with me to the headquarters. You can take Madame Hoffman's place in the shelter. King Midas hunted in the woods in search of Silenus, the wisest satyr, the companion of the wine god. What is the best and most enticing thing for a man? The king asked. Such Satan laughed in response. Children of mischance and misery, you are asking for an answer you wish not to hear. And what is best is beyond your reach. To never be born. To never exist. To be nothing. But you still have the next best thing. Die, and do it soon. I don't care if I could make it through the storm. My end is already upon me. Doctor. I'd rather die here than spend the rest of my life running from the storm. Get to safety, Miss Marcus. I still have things to do. It's a shame that we won't get to be colleagues. Auf der Suche nach Silenus. Do you feel right the poem in the same misery and despair? And why did he call the painting the salvation? He set fire to every piece of his work, but why leave this one out? And this strange way of drawing? Heinrich said he showed the path to salvation and brought you all to the guiding. 
Salvation. Salvation. Could it be... If I succeed, I can prevent the death of someone who holds the clues. Even if I die, I'll still turn Kakanya completely against Isol. This was your plan, madam? What really scared me was not the threat to my life, but the possibility of dying ignorant. I know what to do now. Doctor, wait! There might be another way. Don't fall into darkness. <gasps> Don't let madness or despair take over, Doctor. This is not the end. My mission is not over. There's still another way to end this. But it can only be done by you and me. The Guiding One is merciful in bringing this era to an end before the summer of 1914. Here, the nationalists, the internationalists, the arcanists, the rationalists, the progressives, the conservatives, the fanatics, the bystanders. They indulge in passion, insisting that it is their ideals that make up the world. Who would have thought that such a progressive and sensible era would end in a barbaric war? <laughs> Yet in the end, like dust, they'll be swept away and forgotten by time. Only the true believers will survive the end. But I must regretfully remind you, Killing one of our own, despite your merits, is a violation of the rules. I will report this to the Guiding One. May I have a moment alone, Mr. Forget-Me-Not? I want to look at this city one last time. Whatever you want. I've thought about this and made up my mind, Isolt. You were right. I will join you. <gasps> I have been waiting to hear this for so, so long. I know this is what you want. Now I can finally make your dream come true. I... <laughs> Before we leave, I would like to take one last walk in this world. Would you like to join me 
and walk to my clinic? The name of the stage is the name of this chapter. <laughs> Let's go. Du hast alles gut durchdacht. Spiegel macht mir Angst nach dem, was passiert ist. Er spiegelt wahrheitsgetreu mein hässliches Gesicht wieder. Meine abstoßende Seele. Doktor, du bist nicht abstoßend. Wie kann jemand, der abstoßen ist, so edle, hohe Ideale haben wie du? <lacht> Vielleicht. Vielleicht haben sie recht. Es ist Zeit, das Tuch zu lüften. Das Licht tut weh. Hast du die Vorhänge geöffnet? Wait, my mic is not open. <laughs> so bright of you open the curtains. I'm just gonna. <laughs> oh my god, I'm. I hate myself. Like. I'm just gonna skim this. You have wrapped up this place, like something like that. Kakanya was afraid at looking at the mirror because of she was afraid of looking at her ugly face. Then Isol told Kakanya that uh, she's not ugly, that her dreams shine brightly. And uh, Kakanya. I uh, said, so I thought, now I can reveal it. And then, it's this one, we are here now. It's so bright, have you opened the curtains? Doctor, I can't see I can't see anything. Schauen Sie sich dieses Gemälde an, Isolde. Look at this painting. Erinnert es Sie an etwas? Remember anything? Ich kann es nicht deutlich sehen, Doktor. Es ist zu hell hier. It's too bright. I can see. I can clearly see. Könntest du die Vorhänge etwas zuziehen? Can you please close the curtains? Das ist das Gemälde ihres verstorbenen Bruders. Die Rettung. So brothers. Oh, what's that word? I don't your your brother's work. Uh 
What's uh, uh, Deliverance? Wir haben eine einfache Tatsache übersehen, Isolde. Bis Heinrichs letzte Worte uns alle daran erinnerten. You, you have always overlooked something. It wasn't until Heinrich died that he spilled the beans. Theophil schrieb seine Notiz in Verzweiflung, nannte aber sein letztes Gemälde die Rettung. The suicide note was full of this of real despair, but the note itself is named Salvation. Doctor, es ist so hell hier. Können wir wo anders reden? It's too bright here. Can we go somewhere else? Wie konnte ich das übersehen, Isolde? Eine noble Dame wie sie kann nicht nur singen und tanzen, sondern auch zeichnen. It is not enough for an aristocratic lady to only sing. If you danced the waltz so well, you must also be skilled at using the paintbrush. Theophil war ein feiner Herr, aber nur fein. Er war talentiert, aber nicht begabt. Die Frauen des Detasdorfs waren schon immer bessere Medien als ihre Männer. Sie sind viel begabter als ihr Bruder. Theophil is excellent but not brilliant, good but not outstanding. The data store of family psychic skills are passed down to women. You are a better psychic than him. Sollen wir euch beiden dankbar sein? Du und dein Bruder ein paar Messias dieser Ära? Einer von euch schrie die Wahrheit in einem bemitleidenswerten Gedicht heraus und hielt seine Verzweiflung in Form von Kunst fest. Und der andere... Should we thank you? You are indeed brothers and sisters. One cried out in despair. Turned all reality into a little poem and pass it onto the world leaving the painting of despair to yourself Doktor Und der andere wollte die Farbe von oben abkratzen ihre wahren Farben enthüllen und sie neu formen Oh It's kind of no the, the old one Peel off the top layer of the oil paint to reveal the underlying colors and reshape them. I think, yeah, peel off, reveal, yeah. Das bist du, Isolde. Du hast versucht, die Verzweiflung abzukratzen und die Welt mit deinen mitfühlenden, mitleidigen Händen neu zu formen. That is you, Miss Isolde. You dug out that layer of despair to put your own compassion. Er schuf die Kunst und du hast sie vervollständigt. He creates his creates and you make it uh what do you call that? He like creates and Isolde makes it, uh, improves it, makes it amazing. Du und dein Bruder seid die Mitgestalter dieses Gemäldes. 
aus Mitleid für diese Welt. It was you, both brothers and sister. Like, who took pity into the world and created this painting. Und deshalb war es das einzige Werk, das den Brand yeah, überstanden refine, hat. I, I guess refine is much, a much better word. But like... Mm, somewhere in between those lines. Oh, so it survived the fire. Habe ich recht, Isolde? Sag es mir! Is that so? Tell me, Isolde. Kakanya has been like cooking some speeches this past chapter. Like. <laughs> Mit Heinrichs Hilfe habt ihr beide den Anführer von Manus Vindicte getroffen. Ihr habt das Wunder gesehen. Euch wurde der Weg zur Rettung gezeigt. Under the introduction of Heinrich, uh, the two of you met the leader of Manus Vindicte. You have witnessed miraculous uh, magic or a canyon, I guess. And a scene of salvation. Aber der arme Theophil konnte nicht akzeptieren, was ihm gesagt wurde. Wie du wurde er von seinem edlen Blut verflucht. Er hatte Mitgefühl für die Welt, hielt aber dennoch an den Privilegien des Adels fest. And desperate Theophil cannot bear such pain. Unlike uh, you, he bears the curse of being a noble. With both the arrogance of looking down and the compassion of sympathy for everything, for every living being. Er wollte nicht mit Manus Vindicte zusammenarbeiten, aber er wollte auch keinen Krieg. He doesn't want to join a hand. Uh, wait, he doesn't want to join the Manus Vindicte. And he doesn't want war to come. Oh, I think both Theophil and Isolde met with Heinrich to meet Arcana. And like Theophil doesn't want to. And doesn't want war. Er hatte seine inneren Kämpfe. Als Begünstigter der Rettung war das Schreiben von Verzweiflung sein einziger Ausweg. He struggled, but when he was wished, he wished, um, he struggled, but when, what, beneficia, beneficiary, that's the word I'm trying to pronounce, uh, he could only write about the despair. Er musste sein Leben nehmen, um den Schmerz zu beenden. Und er wollte, dass du dich ihm anschließt, damit oh ihr God. beide gemeinsam von der Qual befreit werdet. Oh my God, the twist! Man. He would rather end himself in pain, so he reaches out his hand to take you to real, to the similar feeling. Aber er übersah die Tatsache, dass du im Gegensatz zu ihm bereits in Verzweiflung lebtest. So Alles, was er hatte und ihm wichtig war, hatte nie dir gehört. Die Zerstörung dieser Welt bedeutete dir nichts. Ich 
he forgot that uh, your life is in ruins and you never have had anything. Huh? He never... Is that right? He never had anything he cares about. For you, the destruction of the world is just going to be... It's just going from one ruin to another. My cough tut wirklich weh. Yeah, this is the longest chapter for a farm. My head hurts. Also hast du aus Mitleid den Abzug gezogen. So you fired that shot out of pity for him. Ich kann nicht sehen. Könntest du bitte das Licht im Raum dimmen? I can't clearly see anything. Can you make it darker? That has like double meaning. Betrachte dieses Gemälde. Schau dir dieses Spiegel an, Isolde. Look at this painting. Look at the spears. Was hat dir der Anführer von Manus Vindicte gezeigt? Was ist der Weg zur Rettung? Ist es ein Zauber? Ein Ritual? What did the leader of Manus Vindicte show you? What exactly is uh, salvation? Is it a spell? Is it a magic formula? Du bist die einzige, die es weiß. You're the only one who knows this. Some of you know that. Some of you know about this. That's why you guys suggested. <laughs> uh. That's actually pretty good. Watch the mirrors, Miss Marcus. I'll guide his old to the memory. If only this would undo my mistakes. You can do this, Miss Kakanya. Ich kann dich nicht sehen. Wo bist du hin? Lass mich nicht, Doktor. Doctor, where have you been? Why can't I see you? Are you no longer are you no longer with me? Schließ deine Augen, Isolde. Please close your eyes. Sag mir, was du von Tell me. Der Rettung me. hältst. What does salvation really mean? My duty lies with you. Let her eyes turn black. Meine Augen. Wo sind meine Augen, Schwester? Wo bin ich? Turn it This music is going hard. <laughs> But, um, where are my eyes, sister? Where have their eyes gone? Where should I look? Da 
das Schauspiel begann lange davor, Schwester. The real show started long before. Sie spricht mit ihrer Schwester, die jung gestorben ist. Wo bist du jetzt, Isolde? Is it her sister who died young? Where are you now, Isolde? Nirgendwo Besonderes. Eine gewöhnliche Party. Eine Seance. That's nothing worth mentioning a party the most ordinary sign turns. Bewunderer, Schmeichler, immer da, bei jedem Treffen. <laughs> Flatterers, people have flattered everyone. You also know that this indispensable or every party and every play. Diese naive kleine Tosca. Sie vertraute ihren süßen Worten. She didn't know this. People's world were so beautiful that Tosca believed them to be true. Sie erzählte in eine andere Geschichte. She told another story. Hmm. Vorhänge im Wind. Das warme Bad der Sonne. The curtains are being blown by the wind breeze. The, sign, the sun shines through the windows. Everything is glowing softly. Was passierte als nächstes? What happened next? Schließ das Fenster! Schließ es! Shut it, shut it, damn it, shut it. All right. <sighs> is this yes is sold but on crack? <laughs> on steroids. The moment of utterance. The moment of silence. No one really made this year. Until the torch is lit. Benefit from reading. Things don't resist. Let's get it over quick. There they are. Huh. Who is this? Uh... Final demonstration. 
frustration. The moment of utterance. The moment of silence. Final demonstration. Peaceful moment. Until the torch is lit. Hmm. Welcome to the world of numbers. Silence. No one. Another time? Oh, I think I shouldn't have been there. Learn from silence. I should have got this. Yeah, it's for me. Stay balanced. It's blue. It's blue, it's blue pork. It could be found. Let's just stop thirty seven. Ultimately. It's red buck now. Art and love are my life. Was ist los mit deiner Stimme? Wo bist du jetzt? What happened to your throat? And where have you been? Eine Probe. Der goldene Ball. Sei nicht sauer auf mich. Ich, ich weiß, eine Schauspielerin sollte perfekt sein. Rehearsal. Right under the... Uh-uh. Holdens. What's that? That's the place. Golden something. Don't blame me. I know actors should be flawless. Jede Tosca sollte den feinsten Traum darstellen. All of Tosca should be the most beautiful dream. Sie sehen sie als einen Vogel, der ihre Lieder und Pracht preist. They look at Tosca like a bird, admiring its beauty. Its song and its status. Aber genießt sie das? Tut sie das? It does enjoy. Does she enjoy this? Does she enjoy this? Is der Vogel noch da? Is she still there? Is fort. She is gone. Havradosi öffnete den vergoldeten Käfig und er flog. Havradosi opened a gilded cage and it disappeared. God, there's another piece of this. What are they cooking here? Uh, this this demonstration. Wait a minute, no. Uh this no. this mm. 
should I buff first? But if we lose, wait a minute, I can this first, and then this, then I can do this. Time for tongues to speak of truth. Please don't resist. Welcome to the world of numbers. Yeah, so the soul has tilted. The balance needs to be restored. Does she have a different ultimate for each face? I kinda wanna see it, but I feel like I'm gonna <laughs> regret it <laughs> if she actually does. I'm gonna see it later. So let's just focus on defeating it. gonna see it anyway oh no it's them never mind Whoa. You've heard it yet, right? You must have heard it. You're overdoing it, Miss Kakanya. Mir geht's gut. Mach weiter, Isolde. I'm fine. Go on, Isolde. Go on. Von einem Punkt zeichnete der Pinsel einen Kreis. Ich 
the pen fell on the cloth starting from the point going around in a circle das portrait begann mit diesem dummen kreis dann zeichnete er augen und einen mund I feel like the music is gonna go hard off there. It starts Kreis. again. <laughs> Unheil gebar Unheil. One circle leads to another. One destruction leads to another destruction. Kunst, eine faszinierende Krankheit. Verlangen, Unterdrückung und Wahnsinn. Art fascinating. Art fascinating. Uh, disease, desire, depression, and madness can all be vented through this. Es, es ist die Rettung. Wir kommen näher. Salvation. We are close to this part nein, of memory. Nein, nein! Er meint es falsch! I've <laughs> guessed what that means if you know nine. But no, he painted it wrong. Tio Phil, you must is falsh. Tio Phil, you drew it wrong. Got you. <laughs> Turning that up. That goes. <laughs> Is there a fire on? That was so good. Time for tongues to speak of truth. The final demonstration. Time for ears to listen. <sighs> the scale of your soul has tilted. The balance needs to be restored. Welcome to the world of numbers. And I asked the snow. <laughs> this can be really biased, but <laughs> I know who's coming. <laughs> Silence. There they are. 
if you're talking about copyright, I'm pretty sure like all I don't know if all of them, but like really old music are like in public domain. God, I have so many wine stacks on you. needs to be restored. Uh -huh. Got you. That's really convenient. Uh, sure. Sure about you again. Must be choking on your own blood. I was so close. Mother Catania! Was passiert als nächstes? Was ist danach? Kamidossi. I didn't mean to click that. Wohin bist du gegangen? Oh well. Where have you been? Bitte schau mich an, Doktor! Hilf mir! Bitte hilf mir! This look at me, please save me. We are much naughtier than the Foundation's kids. Isolde, and fix your eyes on this watch. Why? Did I do something wrong again? Am I hopelessly incurable? Why? Why couldn't you cure me? Can't you save me from despair one more time? Schlaf, Isolde. Gehe zum Ort des Friedens, zum Heim der Nacht. Das ist nicht so, dass ich spiele. Ah, ja. Das ist so. Go to the safe abode. The hometown of Eternal Night. Du bist die grausamste von allen. You are truly the cruelest person in the world. Wenn du bereits eine Entscheidung getroffen hast 
und denkst, dass ich schuldig bin. Warum behandelst du mich dann so sanft? You've already made up your mind. Why are you so kind to me? Ist, die du gebracht hast, werde Is this ich your sie salvation? Mit Freude annehmen. <laughs> I also enjoy it. Now, tell me, Isolde, what do you think of when you look at this painting? I am intrigued by the name of your little group. The Circle. Yes, unlike other animals, there's a power in every one of us. It's the source of our instinct. Following it, man survives the cruelty of nature. In awe of this extraordinary power, the first of man drew a magical circle on the ground, symbolizing a higher power and declaring that man would no longer be at the mercy of nature. That was the first circle, the first magic, the first art. <laughs> An interesting take. I happen to have a circle too. This is also an ancient miracle. A circle of salvation. It shelters the chosen ones from the falling rain. And sees them to the promised land. News from the front line. They have sent home the storm immunity ritual. Get to work, people. In the 22 hours before the storm arrives, the whole world is our proving ground. That's it. All ten for no other thing. Ooh, that's almost eight hours. That is so long. This what's this? Oh, 
white and blue. Modern. <laughs> yeah, Kakanya and then. Kakanya and his hold is like on the foundation now. Uh, if you've read what happened in chapter 3 and 4, then they're pretty much being treated much like what Sotheby and like the original crew is. So they're unregistered. So good. This hash is really good. So it's anything. There's some trails here. It's not important. Yeah, if it's not a boy's trail, then I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna do it. Yeah, it's just it might be just That's it. There's nothing more. The next chapters will probably be on the anniversary. Perhaps. I mean, my guess. But like, that's it. You know what? Let me look at the. Let me see if I can find the. Boss musics. In uh, real quick before I end the stream. Let's like. Go here. See if I can find the uh bus music. Oh, the I think that's it. I'm going to like end the stream now. It's been a really long stream. Yeah, yeah, Marco Meatball. The moment, like, I s heard, like, that it's about, like, opera. Yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Oh, that was so good. <laughs>